Hello, my friends. I do believe we are live, I think. There we go. Okay, I had a cool, like, little pre-stream thing set up there. But, uh... Okay, I had a cool, like, little pre-stream thing oh. set up there. But, uh, and it's coming out my speakers. Oh, there we go. And it's coming out my speakers. Oh, there we go. And it's coming out my speakers. Oh. And, uh, okay, right, ready? We're doing this professional this time. What a professional introduction to a stream. Welcome, my friends, how goes it? Would you look at that? Ah, perfect. How are we doing, my friends? You know what, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, right? I'm gonna be real. The content of this update is not something that I'm gonna sit here and get excited about. However, I actually am quite I am quite looking forward to getting back to playing Infinite again. Um, I've not played since the last cutscene came out and I had to grind for the Battle Pass. That was the last time I played. And before that, it was when Season 3 came out. So I'm actually kind of a little bit looking forward to trying it again. Um, so I say we're wasting more time. Shall we? We've been, binge we've been binge watching your vids to get back in thing here. Hey, nice dark. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Right then, let's uh, boot the old Halo, Halo Endless, Halo the Infinite, Halo, what other, whatever other humorous word you'd like to use to describe Halo Infinite. Uh, in game? Oh, look at that. Oh, they, wait, hang on. Uh, call me a professional streamer. Right. Let me know if the frames drop or if the audio is too loud. Okay, the audio is definitely too loud. It's, it's blowing my eardrums out. So it's probably blowing yours out as well. Let me know if the frame frames start to dip or whatever. Um, I will try and fix it. Um, Infinite is very weird. Whenever I stream Infinite, I always have issues with the frames dropping. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see. But hopefully we're good. Hopefully we're good. So I want to. I do want to try this stuff out. Um, they got, so wait, Pentola. Uh, is that like literally? No cutscene whatsoever. Because some people interpret what Sketch said as, as meaning like, oh, there's no like pre-rendered cutscene, which honestly I think it's fine. I was kind of surprised they even spent the money on a pre-rendered cutscene. Uh, to be honest with you, I was fine with that. Like it, it was cool, but like how it's not necessary, I don't think. But if it's just like there's no cutscene, that's gonna it's gonna suck. Uh, let me. Oh, hang on. There we go. Now I'm more central. It's just gone completely. Wow, that's uh. No cutscene at all going forward. Lovely. Um, will you grind the new rank system? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be perfectly real. The chance of that happening is not very likely. Um, if this ranking, this progression system was filled with like loads of armor upgrade, or armor unlocks and stuff like that, um, then yeah, I probably would do actually. I generally, I, you know what? If it, if it was filled with like loads of armor akin to like reaches or Halo 4s, um, what the? Okay, it has map. Uh, I already had Chimera. If it was filled with that kind of stuff, like Halo 4s was, or Halo Reachers, or Halo 3s, or Halo 5 Betas, I honestly think I might, but probably not, given that there's no... Um... I like this new menu music. This is kind of spooky. You know what? I, yeah, I know I like this. This menu music is pretty good. Right, what we're doing first, chap? Shall we... First, I'm going to turn the order down a little bit in here. To that. And then I'm going to bump it up a little bit in the stream. So let me know what the audio is like. Um, I say we look at the armor first. The stalk. 30, 34 pounds for the new... No shot, it's 34 pounds. Okay, so they had like a little yellow tick to new stuff. That's new. Okay, some more base colors, which I mean, the coating system is shit, but at least they're adding more base colors for free. Can't really complain about that. Ooh, ooh, that's quite nice. I kind of like that, actually. Uh, that is, I believe it. Right then. Uh, wait, new Mark 7 stuff. Is it just the exact same? It's just the exact same for all of them. Uh, mark all as seen. There we go. Oh my god, you know what? I fucking love games that have that option. So you can just click one button and mock all the machine. Right, hazmat. Let's have a look at hazmat first. Um, I'm going to be real. I'm not a fan. But I've barely seen any of the army yet. So. Um, 
Okay, that, okay, no, 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 I'll take it back. That helmet's cool as fuck, because it's Mark VI, that's been, like, modified for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear environments, which does look quite sick. Like, you can see the Mark VI, like, roots in it. That is cool. That's really cool. I like that. That's... Oh, okay. Um, that is the only helmet in hazmat that I like. I'm going to be perfectly real. But actually, you know what? It's in... It's in the battle pass. So it's not locked behind a absurdly high paywall, at least. That... Uh, quite sure about that one, chat. Um, not quite sure about that one. Not quite sure about that one. Um, what the fuck is that? Okay, right, well, yep. Yeah, um, at least this one's in... The it's not in the free battle pass, but it's at least it's in the battle pass. At least it's not locked behind the store. Silver linings, right? That helmet looks sick. I love that helmet, and I love the law behind the helmet as well. Or like the not law, it's not really law. It's like the the thesis of the helmet. That Mark Six modified for uh, like CBRN. That's cool as fuck. I like that. Um, right, let's look at the chest pieces. Oh no, visors. Uh, a million and one, mostly duplicate visors. Uh, chest pieces, right? Pipes. Armoured pipes. More armoured pipes. More pipes. A cool little pipe and gauge thing. Uh, a box. Venetian Omnicorder. Okay, they're all, like, fine, I guess. Uh, eh. Dude, this menu music is fucking hard. I like this. I like, you know what, I like that some of the utilities are belts now. Pipes. <laughs> Pipe boys. Yeah, I... Are there any new armor effects? Oh, dude, this... Okay, this menu music fucks. I like this. Oh, that's locked behind a paywall. I already know that's locked behind a paywall. And I can't even see it, because the, <laughs> the UI's covering it. Uh, is that new? That's not new, is it? God, they look awful. Um, oh, good lord. I don't know if they're new or not. They're quite cool. I think most of these are old, right? Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's sick. Leaky. Oh, they, they showed that off in the video. They actually remember this in the stream. That looks cool. Guys leaking the Halo 1 keys coolant. Oh, yeah, you can hide the, yeah, you can hide the UI. That's true. That's true. Um... Wait, hang on, I had that, I think. Guess not. I guess not. Uh, okay, most of that's the old stuff. Uh, okay, chat, what are we thinking, Hazmat? Um, out of 10, give me a, give me a rating out of 10. Favorite spot of armor, armor ever, either Halo 3 Recon, Hayabusa, Mark V, or Reach Gunganir, or Infinite Mark Seven. Seven, so, oh my god, this is loud. Seven, 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 two, six, two, five, four, zero, four to five, seven, six. I'm seeing mostly sixes and sevens, which is like, eh. Hang on. That many music goes hard, but it's very loud. I can't hear myself talk. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be real. It's a, a billion times better than Chimera, and I think it looks better than Eagle Strike as well. Um... But, eh, eh, it's all right. It's not, I mean, it's, okay, so no, some of it is quite bad, actually. Some of it's quite bad. Um, oh, dear God. Oh, my, oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, uh, are there any, there's no armor kits, okay. Uh, Let's have a look at some of these weapon models. Wait, hang on. Here we go. I do like that blocky AR. That is quite nice. The weapon models that showed off in that um, video the other day look really cool. 
Armor Peaks in Season 2, uh, I agree. Rakshasa looks hard as fuck. I like Rakshasa quite a lot. Okay, that's... Uh, what's the difference here? It's just like a fat... Oh, wait, it's literally called Flash Blind. I was going to say it's just a fat muzzle. It's literally just... Chemically treated for maximum corrosion resistance and low bioadhesion. The core firing components can be quickly sterilized while the weapon furniture is incinerated between mission. Oh, that's quite cool. So the idea is that the muzzle is like the only thing that you keep, I guess. And like the like the firing uh, group and stuff like that. Oh yeah, the oh yeah oh the underbarrel looks a lot nicer. I never liked the underbarrel on the Reach and Infinite AR. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't like Reach or Infinite AR model. I don't like the MA37 at all, um, or whatever it is in this game, MA40, I think. I just, I don't like it. I much prefer the MA5B that was in 1, 3, 4, and 5, or MA5 series, at least. Um, and that looks a bit more MA5-like. Dude, William, I'm not going to lie, right? I've, I've told you guys many times that I would not give this shop any money, ever. The only things that would ever convince me to give this shop money were if they did like a like a Halo 1 assault rifle um, skin that was a one-to-one -one animation wise, sound wise, model wise with a Halo 1 AR or like the Halo 3 sniper or something like that. I'd buy that. Am I streaming on Twitch? Uh, no, I'm not. Just on YouTube. I think. I don't think I'm streaming on Twitch. Uh, right. There's a, there's a few psychic models, right? Oh, no, I guess... Oh, wait, is that one of them? I can't tell. I don't think it is. Uh, the BR ones. How's the music, by the way, guys? I just can't... Okay, there's no no models, apparently. I thought they added, they added new weapon models, didn't they? See, that's the kind of stuff here that I think monetization will be decent for. Like... Don't get me wrong, that stuff I think absolutely should be in the game as like a commendation reward. However, that's the kind of stuff where I'm like a little bit more lenient. I'm like, fine, okay, it's like a full overhaul of a weapon. I don't mind that in the store. What I don't like seeing in, in the store is shit that should be in like a progression system or should that, or should be in like, with your like achievements or whatever. Um, that looks all right. To inhibit biological growths and spore attachment. So it's a bulldog that's basically meant so flood spores can't grow on it. Interesting. I missed a pistol model. I mean, it didn't seem like there were any. I know there are some, because I saw them in the trailer, but unless I'm... Is that one of them? I can't really tell with this skin, to be honest with you. It doesn't, doesn't look that different. Oh, available in the store now. Okay. It's cross-core here. Um... Yeah. I'll oh, take the BR. That's right. That's a good point. Thank you, uh, Spartan. Wait. Hang on. Currently unavailable. Oh. Here we go. Crosscore is here with a caveat. The only crosscore. Um, oh my god, dude. Look at that lighting. My blind. One of my blinds are open. That's some dramatic lighting right there. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, however, the caveat with cross-core... Wait, hang on. Oh, here we go. Okay, right, that's the HTS one. Um, that one looks alright. I don't like how many, like, little... Handles there are on it. That, though, that goes fucking hard. I like that a lot. That's really nice. That's... Yeah, that one fucks. I like that. That's really nice. That's mid, but that one's really nice. How do you get that? In the battle pass. You know what? I'm going to be honest, right? I'd... I'm not going to buy the battle pass today, but this, out of all the seasonal battle passes so far, this is the one that I've been more, most interested in buying. The stuff in here does seem pretty good. Is there anything for the DMR? I'm not... <laughs> Call me petty. I'm not calling it the fucking bandit. It's the DMR. Is there anything for the DMR? Ooh. Where did I get that? That's quite nice. I missed the BR model. Ever equipped the skin. I'll go back and look at the. Oh, error occurred while writing your Xbox Live profile. Okay, well, I guess I'm not putting that skin on then. Uh, BR. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, that. 
That is kind of cool. Apparently, that was meant that was designed around an uh, an NES controller, which is kind of sick. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, that yeah, that that's mid, but that that one I like that one quite a lot. I dig that one quite a lot. That is very nice. That is very nice. Um, let me stick the Altic thing back on. It looks like the duck and the controller. Yeah, it does a little bit. <laughs> I think that was intentional. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. The caveat with cross-core. So, cross-core coatings, and I think possibly helmets, but don't quote me on that. They may have said helmets, are here. However, right now at least, it's only for, co uh, for coatings, for premium coatings that are season four and onwards. So, literally, if a coating is free or you've, or you've earned it, either for free or you bought it before season four, none of that's cross-core. The only shit that's cross-core is basically stuff you get in the battle pass and the stuff that you buy in the store. Um, how convenient that they're the first things that happen to go cross-core. How, how incredibly convenient, right? How, uh, dear God, 3,000, how much is that in, how much is that in, in pounds or whatever? Uh, it's like 25 quid. What the fuck? So, four quid times seven, yeah, 28. 28 pounds, bro. It's just duplicate coatings. And like a few pieces of, oh God, that's ugly. I mean, that's all right. That's cool. Although I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really starting to find these things obnoxious like the kill effects in particular are the like really really obnoxious ones and you can so you can buy them all as like a, a mega bundle or whatever or you can buy them individually why am i doing shop stuff i'm not giving this shop man I, I don't care i don't care i'm not interested right um what are we playing infection infection uh let me swap the battle pass there's not much points so i'm not buying it there is a uh, infection. Okay. Oh, sniper settings. Yeah, I need to put the legacy sniper settings on. Is it ever going to equip this? Unfortunately, poor Red. I did, my friend. I did. Right as the story started to get genuinely intriguing, they're like, yeah, now nah, we're going to cut it off. Any lore videos coming? Uh, for Halo, yeah, kind of. Yeah, actually, yeah, no, not kind of. Yeah, there are some Halo videos. I've also, um, I'm also about seven and a half thousand words into writing my Marathon Law video, which is going to be a turbo banger. Why is the Battle Pass not swapping? So, uh, this Marathon Law video is going to end up being 10,000 words. However, I'm going to cut it into a few different videos. Did you see the reaction cutscenes? I did. I, yeah, I, yeah. I've seen them, dude. I've seen that. I've seen that. Uh, right, let's just let's put, yeah, let's put the Black Boost on. I've got 18 and I'm never going to use them, so. Nope. Purchase failed. Well, I'm not trying to buy them. I'm trying to use ones I've already got. I mean, okay, right. Regarding the story, I mentioned this on Twitter yesterday, but I'll say it here, right? Regarding the live service story, I'm not going to sit here and say that live sto service story was like Halo 2 levels of quality or anything, right? It wasn't. It wasn't insanely cool. Or it, wasn't, it wasn't like amazingly good. But it was getting interesting. And the last two, I thought the last uh, like two or three cutscenes were genuinely quite good. But again, they weren't like Halo 2 levels of good. And I'm not going to try and say they were. But they were intriguing in their own right, right? And they were going somewhere that seemed kind of interesting. It seemed like it could have been interesting. And they've just cut them off. I'm not going to watch the Elite Ones on the stream. Uh, not yet, at least. Right, chat, when we get into the game, let me know um, if I drop frames or anything. And uh, I'll know if I do, I know how to fix it. I don't think that it is a narrative event next week, is it? Isn't, is there an event now? Okay, no, there's not. Maybe it is a narrative event. But I doubt it. 
Yeah, that, that howling was incredibly cringe. That was awful. I don't know why that was in there. Um... Right, let me hit the old record button because I'm getting some footage from my review video. Infection. Infection. I do like how the maps are modified for infection in this. I mean, it's obviously like, they're always like that. Hey, Ulta, thanks for the membership, bro. Thank you very much, dude. I did reclaim her. That's, unfortunately, that's no surprise at all. Um, Bungie are like all about life service now. Hey, welcome back, Ulta. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Dude, look at that. Look at that atmospheric lighting. Thank you, Alex. The channel's coming back soon. Oh, you start with commandos. Oh, I have no vibration, which is... Uh... Oh my god, this, this is getting real getting used to. Right, how's the frame rate, chap? Oh my god, this is this feels weird. I've not played Halo in a so... Or not played Infinite in so long. My... Hang on. Hold on, have my settings reset? Yeah, they were not that high before. It's fine. Okay, cool. It looks a bit laggy on my end, but um, it's probably just I'm playing the game. Oh my, bro, the, the aiming feels horrible. What the fuck? Why does aiming feel so bad? Acceleration is on. Oh my god, the aiming feels awful. I thought it only reset on console. I thought um. I thought uh, PC was fine. I thought the bug was only on console. Dude, the... Hang on. The vertical aiming feels higher than... Acceleration is on a zero. That feels better. That feels much better. It could be some easy aiming on other games, but I don't know. It just felt a little bit weird. Watch this. Oh, the quantum trying to locate here. Wait, all the beta infected get quantum... Okay. Where is he? What the? Oh my god, Bruce in the HLG spot. Hey. Let me see if vibration is turned off. Okay, vibration just isn't working. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some real risky right here. I'm gonna unplug my controller, plug it back in. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, it's working. That sense feels a lot better. Feels much better. Okay. It seems as though I don't know if it's just my if it's just me. Oh god, it's hang on, it's doing it again. Oh, I need to change the the ADS or the zoom sense as well. Oh my god, that boy went flying. This feels. Are any of you guys having this as well, or is it just me? Is your aim? Does your aiming just feel like really messed up? This is a cool spot. This is like a reach level spot. Nah, my FOV still ninety seven. FOV still fine. Um. Oh my god, dude! It's like the it's like the sense just keeps changing. Like that. I don't know, man. Oh my god. The sentence was awful. Uh, I don't really know what, <laughs> don't really know what to do about this, to be honest with you. Uh, acceleration is on nothing. Have you drop it all a little bit more? Hi from NASA Houston. By the side, you work for NASA. That's cool as shit if you work for NASA. Oh my god, he's got a sword. He's trying to take the effect on with a sword. <laughs>
maximum fire team capacity. Right, okay. Control control is bad enough. I feel like the it's, it's, it's done it again. It's it's like whenever I'm aiming at an enemy, the I don't know. Something something feels very, very, very off. And I don't know what it is. When I'm aim when my crosshair goes red, it's like my sense doubles. Okay, the effects of that are kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, I might just go to keyboard and mouse because this this feels horrific. We control all but one. Only thirty seconds. Delta, thanks to the book, Steve. I had to restart my PC. To oh God, you're joking me. Yeah, I'm not restarting my PC because that means I have to end the stream. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I might, um, the sliding fell off. Uh, hang on. Wait, is it? Nah, sliding feels, feels about the same. Sliding feels about the same. It's like whenever my crosshair goes red and I should get aim assist. It's like I'm getting the opposite of aim assist. It's like my aim, instead of like slightly slowing down, it's like doubling in speed. Oh my god. That's quite disorientating having a shower screen. Oh my lord. Jesus. Gucci Pasta, thanks to my books, dude. British Pogmaster. How is it, be honest? Is it worth a reinstall? Honestly, just down to play with extra shotgun and TC as well. Lube, bro. Thank you very much, man. Uh, I couldn't tell you yet because I'm only one game in. Um, I'm not even one game in yet. This is uh, not even the end of my first game yet. If you check back in like an hour, I will let you know. Oh, hi, Chris. Yes, if you're watching the stream, real. I'll talk in chat. Well, that was a. Uh, Listen to the ending announcement. I did not hear an ending announcement unless I missed it. Okay, let's see what this ranking or progression system is like then. I am the danger. Recruit grade one. Cadet grade one. Okay. Where do I see that on other, uh, like, uh, as like a progression thing? Is there a way that I can see how close I am to the next level uh, of the next rank? How the hell do I see this? Is it there? Oh, I see. Yeah. Top of it. I wanted to see if there was a way to see like how much XP I needed for my next level. And it's at the top. Uh, okay, that was, that was alright. I'll tell you what though, I'm going to keyboard and mouse because this controller just feels awful. Zach, thanks for two bucks, dude. My infection map, the lies in separation. Have you made a map? Do they, does it work already with infection? <coughs> <coughs> Brandon, I saw that earlier. That's fucking insane. It's so sick that he's managed to get that working. Right, I've not played Halo with keyboard and mouse for a long time, so this will be interesting. Uh, I think all my settings should be fine. We'll see though. How can we use control on PC? Halo to me is just a game where like, I don't know, it's just a controller game to me. Halo is like, I've tried so many times to go keyboard and mouse and it's just because I've got two decades over two decades of muscle memory built up with a controller with Halo um it just feels more natural I can play weirdly enough the only two Halo games that I can play keyboard and mouse are Halo 1 and Halo 4 Halo 4 in MCC feels weirdly good with keyboard and mouse Oh, see, that immediately just feels a thousand times better. 
That, I need to remember the key bindings because they're completely wrong from uh, other games that I play, but all good. Yeah, this just feels like a thousand times better. My aim's running me trash. Because the only game that I played on uh, keyboard and mouse recently is Tarkov, which is a very different game to, to Halo. Obtaining local map intel. Where my heal alone is at? Wall Was that? I don't know. It's dead. Oh, hang on, it's dead Spartan. <coughs> oh, hang on, I put my skin on. Let's go. Okay, the DMR feels a lot better on keyboard and mouse. Uh, oh, I'm not even recording. Lovely. Rockus, commendation. Yeah, see, the DMR feels very nice to keyboard and mouse. To be honest with you, it wouldn't surprise me if the reason they added the DMR is purely for keyboard and mouse. Because there's no, no tracking aim required in the DMR. It's just point and shoot. Hello. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. This feels so much nicer now. This is a lot more enjoyable now that my aim doesn't feel like complete trash. Oh. That boy went flying. This game feels so much better on keyboard and mouse. Here we go. Oh, God. Wait, hang on. Oh, ammo. I thought I had infinite ammo. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Is yellow your favorite color? Uh, no, it's not. Blue is my favorite color. Maximum well, actually, it's blue. I used to say that as a kid, but I don't know if I ever really thought it. That probably sounds like kind of strange, but I never. I used to say blue is my favorite color, but was blue really my favorite color? I don't think it was. Oh, I didn't know that was like almost entirely barricaded. That would have been helpful before. Oh, overshield. Hell yeah. Okay, F is melee. I saw him and I didn't do anything. Kevin, how's it going, dude? Take the enemy, Spartan. Fight like the jewel I'm too indecisive to make a choice. I know that feeling. Like Delta, thanks for two bucks, dude. BTP excuse BR Rocket. Wait, BR Rockets? Is that not just like a version of a race? Like, um. Well, rockets isn't them. Yeah, I wish they bought the classic shotgun back to you. Okay, really, this is going to sound strange, but when I was playing on controller, the movement felt so slippery and like slide. It felt like, you know, in Halo 1, when you walk on ice and you literally feel like you're sliding everywhere. On controller, the movement, as like a Spartan, not an infected, felt like that. But it just feels perfectly fine on, on keyboard and mouse now. Jay, thanks for 10 bucks, dude. Blue is cool. Blue is indeed cool. I do like blue a lot. One of my go-to uh, armor color configurations in Halo 3 was always white and blue. Tarkov streams when? I actually streamed um, Tarkov on Twitch like a week ago. It's pretty fun. I was going to keep streaming on Twitch and then Twitch announced all those stupid changes. It's like, I really want to use Twitch. I want to stream on Twitch, but I don't want to stream on Twitch. Blue has the ultimate wrist. <laughs> okay, that place is quite hard to push to. Ha! Nice try. Oh, that's a uh, body. There we go. You know what? I honestly don't know what I think about the... Um, what's it called? The quantum translocate. I've got a feeling like, I don't... I just don't think, like, my game sense in this game is enough to judge whether I think it's good or not. Hell yeah. 
Yo, an estimation with a 20 bomb, bro. How are you finding it? He's been following with the hype. Um, I mean, for me, it's like, I can't get hype for content that should have been here 19 months ago. It's good that it's here, but I can't get a hype for something that should have been here 19 months ago, you know? Like, it just, that, it doesn't excite me when it's something that we should have been playing almost two years ago. Um, but so far, so far, like, that aside, so far, um, it's pretty good, yeah. Um, infection is pretty fun. I mean, it's infection, right? It's, it, it's, there's nothing too special about it. It's just infection. There's a few, few little changes. Um, but like, it's, it's infection. It's, it's going to be fun. Unless they completely ruin it like they did in Halo 4 and just break it, then it's always going to be fun. Um, dude, I saw your Mjolnir helmet video earlier. That shit is insane. Like, holy fuck. I can't imagine... Like, how many man hours went into making that, and how much money went into that as well. That is insane. That is insane, dude. Abyss, thanks for two bucks, dude. MCC stream is dead. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I've seen that, Andrew. That's pretty cool. I like how they've, like, corrupted the Jeff Stitzer AI. Oh, they've got threat sensors everywhere. Ethan, thanks for the quid, dude. Hope uh, things are good, dude. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. I'm uh, currently grinding out marathon content, which is very, very fun. I'm not going to lie. Should be releasing... Uh, I'm hoping to get the first marathon lore video up next week. Um, like, probably late next week. The good thing about those, those videos is that they are not going to be hard to edit because literally all marathon is is gameplay. Like, there's no extra stuff that I have to go and, like... Overlay over gameplay. There's nothing to really put over it. So like uh, It's gonna be pretty a pretty straightforward simple edit for most of the videos. I think Yeah, dude, this nation that's insane That is insane It's paid off though. Okay, that's fucking sick What's marathon about? Uh, that is a long long window question to answer the short of it is Marathon is basically about rampancy. The main, the core of, of Marathon's story is rampancy. But there's a lot more to it than that. David, thanks to five years, bro. Chan, you're in, in the chips, dubbing, man. Your videos have got me through my final year of college. Keep it going. Hey, dude. Thank you very much, man. I'm happy to hear that. Congrats on finishing college. I remember how good that felt when I finished. Uh, I'm guessing you mean like university kind of thing. Uh, and I remember how good that felt when I was finally free of university. Um, Congrats, man. I'm happy I can help you through that. I appreciate the spot, dude. Oh, any session, dude. I would absolutely love that. Uh, Kelev, I'm going to be covering literally everything. Um, like, the way I'm treating mar the mar my marathon content is literally how I treated all my Halo content. Like, all my ha original Halo lore content. That's just how I'm going to do it. It's going to be... Like, my, my pitch is going to be if you enjoyed those videos, then you're going to love the marathon ones. Pretty much. Pretty much repeating the style that I did in those videos, um, but with marathon. It's gonna be fun. You're running a marathon. You wish, Fletch. You wish. I'm too top heavy now. Drank way too many protein shakes recently. I'm too top heavy. Are you liking inf uh, infection? Infection is. Uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's infection is infection, right? It's not that different to regular infection that we all know. Um, infection is fun. And so is this. Oh. Whoops. The effects are pretty cool. Are you going to be boxing? Uh, I don't know for sure yet, but that's the plan. That is the plan, Vanguard. That's the plan. You will hear... If I if I'm boxing when uh <laughs> when I if I get in when I'm allowed to share but the plan is to be boxing, hopefully it happens. Where is he? Oh, he's on the platform. <laughs> that is cool. 
I like that. Three. What the? Someone just said three in chat. Ed boy, thanks for the five bucks, dude. This AI is gonna get annoying as hell. What was wrong with the normal infection game mode? I assume you can turn it off. I hope you can turn it off in um in in like custom game settings. Dude, what was that three? You, know what? you guys, yeah, you guys heard that, right? <laughs> Me versus Critical for Shocking Dominance. I asked Charlie uh, at Creator Clash this year if he'd, if he'd be down to, if, he, if he'd get in the ring, and he's like, nah, I'm good. He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to do it. Which, you know, it's not for everybody, because there's, there's a lot of, like, you have to throw yourself in physically a lot with, uh, with boxing. Like, I'm very new to it still, and I'm learning it the hard way how much just ridiculous stamina it requires to, um, to do it. Like, I, I've got pretty good stamina, as is, uh, but Jesus Christ, man, like, whew. Well, if we get CTE... Why do I feel like CTE is some ligma kind of shit? What does CTE mean? I feel like I'm going to get ligma or sugma here. I have a bad feeling with how this is going to go. <laughs> Can you use coatings in every core now? Uh, only, a, only some of them. Only some of them. Only ones that you buy or get from the battle pass that, you, that you've bought this season. It's like dementia kind of. Pr Ooh, that's pretty rough. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I'd be fine. After all, right? I'm not going to be getting hit. It's the other guy that's going to be getting hit. It's the other guy that's going to be getting hit, not me. So... All will be well. Right, I want a DMR again. That DMR was uh, felt pretty satisfying. What's the point in a drop wall when they all have swords? Unless it, I guess if it reflects the... I don't know if it reflects the um, shroud screen. If it does, then I get it. If not, then I don't really see the point. Oh, boy. God, this map feels so claustrophobic for uh, infection. Municipal surveillance online. Big brain boxing tactic. Hey, exactly, dude. Exactly. I just won't get hit. That's that's how I win. I just don't get hit. It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh, they can't lunge at you through a drop wall. Ah, that's pretty... That's pretty strong. That makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, I think me and this guy are going to be the last one standing. I have a... Sneaking suspicion. I just wasted an alarming amount of ammo on pretty much nothing. How do you feel about equipment being an infection? Hey, it's fine, I think. The only thing I can think might be a little bit annoying is the shroud screen spam. Welcome, Bab. You did indeed. I feel like the shroud screen spam could start getting quite annoying. Um, but it's only the alpha infected that have that, so... Oh, he was lucky that was a uh, that Evershot was charging up. Infection without the classic shotgun is cursed. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you have a coach or someone who will have to tell you this. Oh no, I know that. Yeah. Thank you, Dresnier. I appreciate that, dude. Um, I mean, if if I got in, I would get a coach like 100%. I wouldn't go in just like, I mean, dude, I've got good stamina, but my boxing technique is like non-existent. I don't have boxing technique. Um, like, I would need a coach, and I would get a coach, for sure. 
Oh, is that the one? Um, is CTE the thing that um, what was his name? The the NFL player who like killed someone and went to prison was it Aaron Han Aaron Hernandez? Was that what he had? They only found out after he died, right? Like when they did the autopsy. <laughs> Bab, don't worry about it. Thank you very much for your after dude. Seriously. Uh, yeah, I used to I used to do cross country running, Alex, when I was younger, um, and I got back into it a few years ago. I was running like like nine or ten k every like every other day for a little bit, but I just I I'm gonna have to start running again if I do box, and I just don't like I don't enjoy running. Yeah, that was Aaron. I thought it was Aaron Hernandez that had that. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Encephalopathy. That was it. Cutting out on your screen. Am I cutting out on anybody else's screen? Three. It looks fine on my end. Shoot something. That's good. Okay, cool. Uh, dog, maybe just like refresh the page. That might fix it. Should I reinstall infinite? Totally up to you. Totally up to you. I've not played enough yet to judge whether it's worth it. And to be honest, I mean, that's subjective. I, I don't, It depends how into infinite specifically you are. Is there someone down there? No, there wasn't. Ooh. It just kind of reminds me of reaches infection a little bit with um like how much set dressing they've done some of reaches maps were always covered in like um like extra detailing and stuff and like not even just detailing like objects to like obscure lines of sight and stuff come on peek oh he ran away pussy That kind of made me jump a little bit, though. Yeah, the, like, new theming for the maps is pretty cool. Uh, I've never played a Sea of Thieves, no. I've never played it. He ran away. Yo, he ate that shot. Okay, interesting. The Bulldog's like... Oh my god. It's not awful for infection. But, I don't know. It just doesn't have the charm of the actual proper shotgun. One thing I'm worried about with this game, with how bad the desync is in Infinite, you're gonna get so many like blank sword hits as in Infected. Is that BR in bottom mid? It was indeed. Haha. <laughs> Use your radar, fool. I thought that about the heat wave, but the range on the heat wave is just way too long. Like, that thing, especially when you're as weak as the infected are, that thing basically has, like, sniper tier range. And also, the fire rate is too fast as well. I, I, out of all of Infinite's weapons, I do think the Bulldog was the better one to choose, but they shouldn't have, they shouldn't have replaced the classic shotgun with the Bulldog. How? What the hell? How did he get in his... So it's so weird hearing Jeff start to talk like that in, in Halo. Yeah, I, I know about the new sniper aim settings.
Okay, I kind of want to look at uh, the progression system again. I am still Cadet, cadet Grade 3. Okay, I want to get Forest. Give me Forest, goddammit. Favorite map in Halo? Uh, either Sanctuary, Lockout, or Midship. Oh god, players in the Sentinel beam. <laughs> That'd be disgusting in infection. Not backwash. Hey, backwash has a very cool vibe. Least favorite Halo game, Halo 5. <laughs> Anime skins, why not? <laughs> I'm hoping never. Spot an ID. Oh boy, a backdrop, guys. Let's get excited about a backdrop. Yay. What a great piece of customization that was. Ugh. Koga, bro, thanks for the five bucks. Welcome, dude. Never looked into it, but surely you can queue with the team, right? Oh, that's actually a good point. I, I will check after this, because um, I know you couldn't with, you couldn't with like free for all. Um, I will check after this. Fairy zombies map. Oh. Uh, for um, Shinonuma. Kelsey, you're welcome, bro. I kind of am as well. Uh, and I'm hoping it stays that way for a while. Need apply. I thought this bird has been infected then. Oh, they changed that. Okay. If they change it so you can cure an infection with a fire team, I'm assuming you can in this as well. Active. Hey, Death, thanks for the five bucks, dude. Stick with for the next eight hours, one place so bad. How are you feeling about what you've seen in Infection so far? Infection is good. I mean, I've said it already, but like, at the end of the day, it's it's just like Infection. There are a few very minor changes, but it's just Infection. Uh, the new theming is pretty cool. I don't I don't hate it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's, yeah, it's fun. It's, it's Infection. Um, it does the job. It's very late. But it does the job. Improves again. I can hear somebody running. And there's no one near me. Oh, hello. Bruh, he ate. Holy shit. Sacrifice your flesh for the banished. One tries them. Oh god, okay, well that didn't work. Uh, there they are. Oh my God! Someone's got an MG. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! We are against the wall. Find your spine. What is that? Oh, is that the trying to look at you? Yes, it is. Next to the DMR. Hello there. Uh, there's uh, the, uh, the progression system doesn't have any rewards besides like emblems and nameplates that no one really cares about. Uh, as, unless you've changed it without telling anybody, there's no rewards, no meaningful rewards. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> you got destroyed. There are no meaningful rewards in the progression system. Cola, welcome. Uh, what's the verdict? I mean, it's fine so far. I've only played like a few games, but it seems fine so far. It's like I said before, it's just, it's infection. It's not changed radically because it doesn't need to be changed radically. Uh, you know, it's just vibe on this a little bit. <laughs> okay, I can see why they put it here. <laughs> My God. 
I'm powerless to stop him. Imagine. All I can hear is Spartan is really aggressively teabagging. Right then, where are those infected? God, look, we've got a full on set up here. He's got a fusion coil. Come on, lift up. You know you want to lift up. It does seem quite OP having this on a, on a turret. Oh my god, no, I got him. Oh god. Yo, very hard, dude. Thank you for the 250 NOK. Nordic Kroner? Is that correct? You have to... Let me know in the chat if that's the right currency. Do you think people will win the next campaign for Halo or the Infinite, or do you think someone else will, make, will take over the reins? Great to see you play again. Cheers, Nord. Hey, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Um, I think 3 4 3 will make it, personally. Uh, and well, to be fair, I think it's so far away, anything goes at this point. It could literally be anyone. Like, I feel, I feel like it's so far away that so much could change between now and when it comes out. Um, so... I, we're right now, I'd definitely say P43, but you never know. A lot can change in, like, God knows how many years it's going to be before we get into the campaign. Uh, we'll see. I would I would like somebody else to make a campaign, personally. Uh, I would very much like another studio to make a campaign and have a go at them. <laughs> I've never seen that murder before. That's cool. Oh god. Team. Okay, they're starting to get a bit closer now. You know what? I can kind of already tell that I like this map for infection. You know there are some maps that like just work really well for infection, like sword based did on reach. Oh my god. No! Easy! They kind of hinted at that kill ski. I don't, I don't think they've confirmed anything yet, though. They kind of hinted at it. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, hopefully the boys come here again. Oh, that's not a good sign. Where did that come from? Unless it was a teammate. That's slightly concerning. Oh my god, that melted them. <laughs> I like how everyone just squads up here. It's almost too easy for survivors. Where are they? <laughs> oh, hang on, I saw a shard screen. Pull! Now this is riveting infection gameplay. Oh! <laughs> I know, I know there's like probably no way to change this, but I do kind of wish they'd made this even this machine gun even when mounted. Uh, finite ammo. Oh, okay, that's a problem. I'll have to angle my screen like that. Okay, there we go. This seem a little bit too easy. Oh god, it's my brother! Oh, I was typing in chat. Okay, now I get to be on the receiving end of my own medicine. <laughs> I get to be on the receiving end of my own medicine. That turret is definitely overpowered. Oh no, that's not where I want to put it. 
Thank you, Mythical. Uh, can I go under? Okay, I can't go under. All I can do is cower here. Here he goes! Oh! Oh, waste his fusion coil! Let's go! Use the invisibility. Uh, oh, try, oh, you meant translocate. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. An attempt was made. The sword looks pretty cool. I like the look of the sword. I'm happy it's not just like the same red, red energy sword from campaign. They've actually changed it up a little bit. How do I feel about it? Uh, it's good so far. Shoot something. Uh, good so far. Was that one AFK guy around here before? Oh shit. Oh god! My awareness is not good then. Oh my god. Hay fever is destroying my eyes, chap. Oh, bruh. Silly move. Yeah, and to be fair, infection is always best on um on fan made maps. My opinion with Infinite Seasons is that they'll probably make it to like season six or seven. Um, and then that'll be it. I, I can't see it going past there personally. Unless something massive changes. Where I'm playing Marathon, um, there are open source ports of it, fan made ports called LF1. A L E P H 1. That you should, um, you should definitely play. That's just my, like, headcanon, by the way, my theory that I, I don't know if that's happening. I'm just saying, like, based on how things are, unless something, like, radically changes soon, got to get out of this ship. Uh, then, I don't know. I just don't see what the financial justification is for carrying a game on if it's not, like, delivering. Oh, my God. It's... Wait. That was a survivor. <laughs> what were you doing? Too many places for one spot and two the summer is pure trash. I agree. I agree. I do not like summer. I'm very much a winter guy. I love winter. <laughs> GG's. Apologies, guys. My senses are currently getting annihilated by pollen. We are... What are we now? Private? We are indeed. Private grade two. Do they keep you on working? Hmm. Uh, honestly, Kelsky... I'm going to be honest, I don't think it will do. I think if it had, um, if it was full of unlocks and like milestones and shit to do in it and, and get, uh, then uh, maybe. I think the issue is though, it's just, I think even then, I think it's just kind of too little too late with something like that at this point. Get nails spray. I, I have tried. Everything. I mean everything. Every kind of tablet, every kind of spray, every kind of rub, everything. I'm I'm at this point now where I'm like, I'm I'm literally just gonna get the steroid injection. I'm just gonna go and go to the doctors, get the injection, uh and just just 
do that because like it's it's so bad. <laughs> Welcome, Josh. How's it going, dude? Wait, Carlos. I forgot to check out the game. Carlos, can you not queue with friend? It's an infection. Can you confirm that? No surge. Oh, the um, septum thing. Um, uh, not septum. There's a name for it. Septoplasty or something. That's that's more so for if you have a deviated septum. I think it is. Uh, the, like a genetic thing. Um, thankfully, this isn't genetic. This is just allergies. <laughs> Unless you're finding some performance enhancing steroids for a major lad. <laughs> oh my god. You can queue with friends. Okay. Good. I I was gonna say, if you can't queue with friends in infection, that would be absurd. That's good. Ooh, this looks like a pretty good holdout spot. Oh, hello. We meet again, my friend. My friend the mounted turret. <laughs> that you can turn absurdly fast on with mouse. I've not gotten forest yet. No, I'm mad. I want forest. That map looks so fucking nice. Oh my god, he's eating. How do you ping? What's the ping? Is it Z? No. X? There we go. X. Keep spamming that. Nick got Behemoth three games in a row. Thankfully, I've not had any duplicate maps yet. Uh, I've had no duplicate maps. But I've not had Forest yet, which is a bummer. Okay, I'm starting to think the mounted MGs might have been a bit of a mistaken in infection. These are. <laughs> Like, if they're on the floor, so they had finite ammo, like, that's fine if they spawn on the floor. But considering they don't... <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Bro, it's like the fucking D-Day landings over here. <laughs> Zombie Slayer. Zombie Slayer. Indefatigable. I'm not going to lie, it's quite satisfying shredding them with this. Yo, fast me. Thanks for 22 minutes, bro. Tip on for machine gun. Step on mouse. Step two proper. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Thank you for the 22 minutes, bro. I appreciate that. This is, um... Very strong. They are so weak. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Purge, let's go. I kind of wish the round could a little bit longer. Well then. I'm happy they removed turret cooldowns. I, I always hate it. Wait, hang on, is that infected? Oh, no, I just spawned with a... Um, spawned with a... For some reason. Uh, I never liked turret cooldowns. Um, I just don't think turret should spawn on the tripods, or they should they should not spawn with infinite ammo because that's kind of silly. Oh, he's got. A... God damn it. Okay, <laughs> now I am once again on the receiving end of my own medicine. George would be proud. Exactly. Uh, there's peanut maps, uh, bagels. There's obviously battle pass and all that kind of stuff. I want to check out the new maps if it gives me them. New beach map kind of snowball. It feels like Halo 4. Oh god! Thanks to two bucks, double gold. Eastern Europe. Wait, are we on Eastern European servers? I'm not from Eastern Europe. 
How the hell am I meant to get up there? Okay, up here. I see. Oh my god. Come here, boy. Oh, your armor belong to us. Yeah, I was. I'm be honest. Everyone says like Halo 4 BTB was the best. I do not like Halo 4 BTB at all, and I never did. I always thought how just utterly insane it was that in big team battle, like a vehicle heavy game mode, you could spawn with a plasma rifle. Oh, uh, sorry, a plasma pistol and plasma grenades. Bro, I've had every map. Besides forest, yeah. Are there in match pop ups when you rank up? Uh, in match, not that I'm aware of, no. Unless I've missed it. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I kind of agree, Shadow. I don't think that BT infinite BTB is definitely their best BTB. Um, it would be a lot better if they got rid of the stupid like pelican weapon uh, vehicle spawns and all that stuff. But Halo Four wasn't good. Halo Five was not good either because it was just forge maps. Oh my God, he's invincible! Not anymore. Right Delta, thanks for two percent. Need so many levers. Uh, they're always kind of have been. Thanks to Tenna. Uh, I'm not sure what currency it is, but thank you for the 10, Hussein. Uh, for all its flaws, Halo 5 are pretty great BTB. I was, I don't know, maybe maybe I was a bit biased because I don't like Halo 5's gameplay and I didn't like that BTB was just Forge maps, but like I was never that into it. I feel like I would have enjoyed it a lot more if they actually made um, like dev maps. Yo, Tula, welcome, dude. Playing on Scar today. I hope you enjoy it. It's the last minute MP of the lighting for the last. Dude, I saw loads of pictures of it in video. And it, the, I literally, first thing I said uh, when I saw it was like, holy shit, the lighting on the lava looks insane on this map. So, uh, good work, bro. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna, as soon as I get forest and infection, I'm gonna hop into BTB and try and get engine. Oh my god, my aim. Potato aim. Ooh, I am dangerously low on ammo. Ridiculous. Yeah, you can search infection with your friends. There's no um arbitrary party limit. That made me jump again. <laughs> no arbitrary party limit on it. Right, like the Jewel Hanai. Yeah, you can search infection. Um, your friends. Well, if you see something. <laughs> Favorite Turok, I to play Halo. Hey, fellow Turok Evolution uh, fan, you love to see it. Dude, you know, I'm waiting for that game, or even just that series, to get like a, a Doom style revival at some point. I would do so many things for that. I feel like Turok's one of those franchises that would be so sick to, for, like, for that kind of revival. Like, tons of guns, loads of really cool enemies, like, obviously the dinosaurs and also the slag. Loads of, like, really good gore. Really cool, like, unique sci-fi uh, environments and, and, like, level designers. It would uh, just be so good. I, if I ever win the, if I ever win the lottery, that is, like, the first thing I will do. I will... I will Pay for a Turok reboot. And it would just be Turok Evolution. But like modernized. Half Life has to come back first. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Hello there. Oh, there's two of them. There are two of them now. Dude, the Suspended City in Turok Evolution would look so good in UE5. Holy shit. I would love to see that. <laughs> A 
Haven should be added. Haven infection is stressful. Thanks for T-Bex trash boot. Yeah, you know what? Haven, I always remember Haven being pretty good. The thing about Haven, I remember, is that because the thruster in Halo 4 when you were a flood was like, it, it had like ridiculous velocity. I always remember, remember people like, thrusting as a flood, getting headshot, and their body just launching across the map on that map. Like, up the ramps. <laughs> hey, Firth, I'm welcome, dude. I was actually in, for in Florida for the first time ever, uh, two months ago. And I enjoyed it a lot. I will definitely be going back. Potato aim. Oh, oh, God. Okay, I thought I fell off the map then. Give me more shot ammo, thank you. Oh, shit. He's upstairs. I knew he'd chase me around that corner. Too predictable. Oh god, no! Oh, I thought it was camo! Shit! Ah, oh, I thought it was camo! Take the enemy, Spartan. Fight like the Jewel Harnai. Enemy AI infiltrating systems. Enemy AI infiltrating systems. I am RFB Enjoy. I've just noticed what your name is RFB Enjoy. Nice. I, I too, I too am an RFB Enjoy. My stash is like 130 mil right now and I still use the RFB. It's a budget gun that I just love. Uh, yeah, I'm still playing a lot. I bought a, I bought a green key card the other day. I splashed out on a green key card. Um, and went there my first raid and made about 50k off the stuff in there. Which was uh, excellent. Definitely getting my money back. Yeah, that event in Tarkov right now looks pretty cool. I need to try it out. Um... The cases. I've not tried it yet. I've been playing Marathon. I'll cheat is better in Tarkov now. Yes. Um, but it's pretty late into the wipe. They're going to be worse when the next wipe happens, unfortunately. Are you saying thanks for 25, dude? Uh, as much as I love Tarok, Serious Sam, and old school cheaters. So, Game industry's more. <laughs> God. <laughs> Serious Sam, is that still getting made? And there was. Didn't they, like, remake them, like, 10 years ago or something? And they're. Pretty well received. Ian, yeah, welcome, dude. Not bad, dude. Not bad. How you doing? Infection. <laughs> God, it's been a while since I played Behemoth. This map, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die on this hill. This map still goes fucking hard. I will, I will die on that hill. This map goes hard. I still like this map. Only single combatants need apply. I'm not going to risk that jump, so I know it's going to end badly. Oh my god, how much ammo? 120 for the commando, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's where you get for teabagging a <laughs> dead spawn. Fast feed, thanks for 12 years, dude. I love infection, I don't think it's going to bring back, back full time. It was always campaign for me, and if they don't give us anything, I'm going to try hard MCC again and torch myself with his energy. Yeah, that's... I, I'm... Kind of the same. I mean, I, I do play Halo, or not, not anymore, but I used to play Halo multiplayer a lot. Um, I haven't really played it a lot after launch since D4 3 took over, but when Bungie's game, for Bungie's games, I always did. Um, and I don't think this is, I'm, I'm not going to be playing this game regularly. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but. As for multiplayer stuff right now, I'm very much just playing like Tarkov and RuneScape. Pretty much Photon. Spartan is like Spartan bodies infected by the banished AI. Yo, very with the 200. Uh, oh, what is it? Is it Krona? I think it's Krona, right? Norwegian Krona. Awesome if the next Halo game was rated R, maybe change the main character over to a DSQ or Marine surviving the flood. Dude, I wish. I, I wish, man. I would love that so much. Gritty, like, ODST or Marine 
flood horror survival game. I mean, that is like, I, I genuinely think that is the most requested Halo game at this point. And for good reason. For very good reason. What current Rudy Kid Grind are you on? Uh, right now I'm doing Night Nine Slayer. Um, and then I think after Slayer, I'm probably going to do... I don't know. I might do a... Uh, might do fishing after. Or, God forbid, runecrafting. <laughs> Does the rank XP use score? I think it does, yeah. I think it mentioned personal score. I'll have a look after this. Remind me. <laughs> Halo Mississippi River. <laughs> Yeah, I, I want more PvE content, but again, this is quite a hot take. A hot take, but I don't. I'm not bothered about traditional firefight. I know a lot of people want it, and I think they should add it. But like me personally, I never really enjoyed firefight. Because firefight came out at the same time as like Gears, Horde, and like zombies, and Horde and zombies. Just I don't know. I just enjoyed them them both so much more than firefight. How do you get into those tunnels? Oh, down. Ah, hello. Surprise. <laughs> Can't see you back in, damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm an alpha, aren't I? Forgot about that. Yeah, can my PV stuff, I agree. I, yeah, it's just, I don't know, for me, Firefight always felt really one-dimensional compared to Zombies and Horde. Like, obviously, the Zombies and Horde both had really good economies. Um, so there was always, like, something to micromanage and there was something to unlock and do and discover on the map. Whereas Firefight never really had that. Firefight was just, like, spawn in map with enemies, kill enemies. That's, like, it. It was, it was always, like, quite one-dimensional. Head it first, Luke is the only alpha. <laughs> yeah, if this came out last year, it would have been would have made a big difference, I think. I have no allies to protect them. We will find them. You're putting this one to waste. I can't believe we haven't got forest yet. Yeah, I would like that Sergeant Flax. Round three. Only single combatants. I would have uh I would have I would have liked that if they'd done, done that with Firefight. I would love Firefight to have like an economy. I, li I literally like call me biased, but I genuinely wish they would just copy and paste like the world at war through to BO2 zombies formula into Firefight. Just have that with like Covenant and Flood. And a story behind it. That would just go so fucking hard. That, I would absolutely adore Firefight if they did that and the maps were good. Like, buying, buying like, upgrades and stuff. Upgrading your weapons. Buying weapons off walls. Buy, like, buying to open doors and, like, explore the map more. Actual Easter egg quests. Like, that. If they went that far with it, I would... Oh, God, I'd love it so much. I would fuck with Firefight very hard if they did that. That's for sure. Oh, is that the Volatile Skewer? Hell yeah. I don't know why I'd ever use this, though. Oh, I lost, <laughs> I lost my commando, goddammit. I don't know why I'd ever use this. It's one shot. It's gonna one shot kill anybody anyway. The UI can never handle buying weapons off walls. <laughs> True. <laughs> Wait, did I skip that teammate? He's got, the, he's got the spike in him still. And it's not... Ex has he? Wait, has he? No, he's got flaming shoulders on. Never mind. Oh, 
Oh. No scope. Let's go. Indivisible. I got headshot by a skewer. Oh, and he's down. It's a body. I thought that was an actual infected. It's just some random body. Hmm. It does seem very hard for an infected to push these new areas. Well, Odin is Raven. The hell is that? I've never seen that man before. I'll have a look what that is after the game. This guy is pre-aiming. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the pre-aim on lockdown. Ten seconds. Three enemies hard by the same. Oh, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> he did not stand the chance. <laughs> I feel like it's insane to pick up a sword as a, as a survivor. I want to try and make that jump, but I know I'm going to die if I do. I know it's a bad idea. Fuck it, we're pushing out. Hello. Oh my god. Do the alpha zombies have more health? They feel like they have more health. Carry this, you filthy casual. I thought he was infected. To be fair, it'd be pretty Sigma to run around as, in a, as a survivor with a sword. This map is very comfy. Let's go and guard the top of that hole. Welcome, Poyu. Some customization stuff has been a bit weird for me earlier, uh, Swizda. I got like one or two weird errors. I just realized the commando feels very similar to the scout and the other SG, sorry, in CS. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you, Eduardo. Um. I might make that video at some point. I did make one a long time ago now, like f seven years ago, maybe. It's a very old, very shit video about literally that. Um, but I, w I actually I actually would be down to make that at some point. Yeah, I think it was a certain... I mean, whenever any new update comes out for any game, there's always like... Server issues for the first few hours. It's just like you just have to expect it. I don't think I've ever played a game where that's not happened. Oh, yeah, the timer is very big, isn't it? I didn't notice that. It will soon be over. Take it will soon be over. Wait, what the hell is that bar? So weird, Jeff Stice are like that. <laughs> How long do you think your marathon video will be? Should you bring popcorn? Um, I'm going to cut it into a few different videos, I think. Uh, I think each video will probably be like, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes long, I would hazard a guess. 
Uh, something like that. Yeah, personal score is what level you up. Uh, three percent of his single sensor. Okay. Come on, forest, please. Forest, please. Oh shit! Yeah, I, I need to watch this still. I will watch them one hundred percent. I will watch them. <laughs> yeah, I like the main menu music. The new one. The new track. For everything he rapid, he's very fellow four lion is enjoyer. <laughs> Come on, Forest. Come on. No, oh, god damn on this map. Oh. Bro, it's, it's, I swear at this point, it's literally given us almost every other map besides Forest. I could go into training mode, but I kind of want to get it in matchmaking first. Oh, hello. They must have more health. They mu the alphas must have more health. And it's sanity. Welcome, dude. How's it going? Alright, as far as I know, Grayson, they've not picked uh, anything for next year yet. Um... They've not picked anything for, anything for next year yet. I don't think they pick fighters for like a few more months. But uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful. Ooh. You fight with the skill of a Jirohana's embryo. A Jirohana's embryo? That's a weird thought. Hearing his voice makes me miss Joe, dude. Same. I will never, ever, ever use him. I will never put another AI on in this game, ever. The Joe AI will forever be my AI in this game. What if we just stay down here? Nobody, okay, nobody, nobody break the barriers. Nobody break the barriers. His eyes are still missing. Whose eyes? Superintendents. No, he's bro No, not like this. He broke our defenses. He's infected there, I think. Oh, hello. Wait, he got. Okay. Uh oh. Sounds like someone's breaking in. Right, Dick. It's just a storm. Oh my lord. Thank you very much. Uh. JKO. Need to watch for the drop down as well. This is quite a cool holdout spot actually. I like this. Oh god. Okay, he went through me. He ran through me. <laughs> Come here, son. Favorite game show this month, uh, Starfield. Definitely Starfield. I'm looking forward to Starfield a lot. One spot cannot stand against the oh. Almost back, my son. Is all that 
Come on. One more round and then we give it forest. Round three. Only single combat. Okay, no one break the barriers. No one break the barriers. No, no, no. Okay, good. No. <laughs> oh yes, you listen to me. <laughs> Let's go. What is that? What the hell is that Spartan? Oh my lord. No! God damn it, he broke into it again. Shrek's twos. I'm also very hyped for Starfield. As soon as I saw the adoring fan, I was so hyped. Okay, they're not up there. He would have died if they were up there. Nice try! Obtaining local map intel. I see, I see you. Oh, shit. Oh, time to invade. Oh, I've got a plan. I probably won't get time to pull this off, but... Okay, no. I was going to run in and then telly back up and go and drop down, but... I guess not. Break into this guy's house. Hey. Hey. <laughs> we'll be right back with potential there. Yeah. Oh boy. The alpha infected. Let's hunt down where we normally go. Oh, God, no. <laughs> okay, I got one of them. There's so many. <laughs> as soon as I landed there, so many threat detectors went down. What's that thing even called? Is it the threat seeker? Threat sensor? Threat detector? Yeah, just a little bit of photon. Uh, I mean, not really, Dylan, because it is just infection. Like, it's, it's infection is great, but it's like... It's just infection, you know? Like, it's not groundbreaking. It's good, because it's infection, but it's not gonna... It, it, it's not reinvented the wheel, nor did it need to reinvent the wheel. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's stairway. It definitely should be there. At all times, but... It's just... <laughs> Very, 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 very late. The beeping one is a threat sensor. Okay. And then there's that new one, isn't there? Which is called like the threat seeker. Blight. I guess that's two kills in one life. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's up there. Ah. Come here, boy. Easy. Being the alpha is pretty fun in this, actually. Sense for social seekers for ranked. Okay. God, that's, that skin makes that Spartan like, the, like a regular Spartan. Oh boy. He's got an over with one rocket. Oh, 
Oh, with rockets, he's gonna go absolutely crazy. Or is he? Or is he? Or is he? I don't think he is. I expect to die. Right then, how much XP? What are we now? A Lance Corporal Grade 2? Grade 2 indeed. Uh, right then. Come on, forest! Give us forest! Give us forest. <laughs> How's the game doing on Steam? What's the Steam charts looking like? Okay, it's not not properly updated yet. It's only at six k. <laughs> oh my God, Robbie. <laughs> I'd be curious to see how high infinite population goes on Steam with this update, and more importantly, if it lasts. Uh, I think infinite's going to be higher than MCC today because of the update. Uh, MCC's been higher like frequently though. MCC is like four and a half k, and infinite is like six point eight k right now. Basically 7k. Yeah, I can see it going to like 10 or 15k for this update. The issue is whether it retains it though. That's the that's the big thing. Whether whether it actually retains that um that population. Still the, better than the Prime series. Do you mean the Halo TV show? Literally anything is better than that. <laughs> Halo Infinite's season two cutscenes that were literally go play multiplayer. The cutscene were better than the TV show. <laughs> Come on, give us forest. Isn't there a way to see what map we're playing, actually? I think there is a way to see. Uh, oh, there's actually, actually shows your rank in your <laughs> minimalistic service record. They actually show it there. Come on, forest. Give us forest. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not seem more more casual. I mean, infection is always going to be casual, right? Which is a good thing about it. You can put it in a game that's like it feels as sweaty as Infinite does, and it will still feel pretty casual. I will say this game feels very nice on keyboard and mouse now. Um, I know they made some changes quite a while ago, and I've, I've not really played the game uh, since they made those changes. But it feels considerably better on keyboard and mouse than it did when I first tried it. Granted, though, that is in a infection, which is a bit different to like regu regular matchmaking. Halo Rabbids cross call <laughs> or crossover. I mean, there's already the bunny ears, right? Oh, the crosshairs were just red. Oh, he's sat on the he's sat on the ledge, I think. 
with an army of the weak. Yeah, you do run very fast as an infected in this game. Fate wins our victory. Kind of feels like Halo 4 in that sense. Welcome, Red Pop. You know what, Suskidge? I actually genuinely agree. I think the cat, I think the bunny ears look fucking stupid, but the the cat ears, I think, genuinely fit the aesthetic. I I like the cat ears quite. I mean, I, I didn't buy them, uh, obviously, but like, I think the cat the the cat ears fit the aesthetic. The bunny ears look fucking atrocious, but the cat ears look good. There's another one down there somewhere. Oh, speaking of sentinel beams. And it has a lot of ammo as well. Now see the cat ears look like actual like little attachments of the armor. Whereas the bunny ears are just these ugly hologram neon, flashy, silly, stupid looking things that just don't fit the aesthetic at all. But the cat ears do. Okay, the center beam is... Nowhere near it. How was that a hit marker? The, the cat ears actually look like a piece of me on here. Not some stupid hologram live service art style. You know, I might start calling shit like, like, that that's like overly neon and overly colorful and flashy is just like the live service art style. So it's where every live service game goes. Every live service game, regardless of what genre it is, what style of game it is, always ends up going the exact same way. Things have to get like overly flashy and overly colorful and overly vibrant and neon and just like over the top. They just have to. Hit marker is such a cop movement. <laughs> you hit some like why why ladder stall on terminal and get a hit marker and it'd be ruined. That's what I thought, Marcus. I always thought the cat ears were like, oh, they look like cat ears, but they look like also like um like speakers or like microphones of some kind, like listening devices, like you said. Um, whereas again, they, I fucking hate those bunny ears. They look so stupid. Okay, I don't know about taking the Sentinel Beam again, because it never seem to do much. Obtained. They one hit you through a shield, okay. Sacrifice your flesh for the burning. I mean, to be honest with you, Fortnite at this point isn't even a game, it's... Or rather, it's a game second and a marketing platform first. We control. Like Fortnite, Fortnite doesn't have an aesthetic, and that is it. Fortnite's aesthetic is that it doesn't have an aesthetic. Um, and to be honest, like that's pretty much the only game I think that can pull that off and do it well. I think Fortnite does it well, um, but I wouldn't want any other game to start doing it. Like Fortnite at this point is literally just an amalgamation of of like every. Every IP on I'm dead. On planet Earth. Uh pretty much. Tyler, thanks for 10 bucks, dude. So blue, long time subscriber. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Turn the stream. How is the desync packet loss for you? Haven't played a minute because of it. Plasma plasma doesn't melt me on here, people. Oh my God. <laughs> um I haven't had any desync yet. Um I'm like probably 10 games in maybe. I've not had any desync or packet loss or like blank melee so far, which is a good sign. Um Although, I'm going to be honest, I don't think that means that it's fixed. I would hazard a guess that those issues are still there. But I've not had any yet. Uh, so, my anecdotal experience is that I've not had any. Thank you for the support, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, pretty much, Nico. I agree. Like, it, it, is, it is a marketing platform before being a game now. Which I think is, like, kind of cool as, like, a one-off little experimental thing for, to show that gamers can do that. But I don't want every game to turn into that. I don't want Halo to turn into some, like, oh, look at this. There's all these different IPs in Halo now instead of Halo Armor. Or, like, same with, like, Gears of War or, like, Call of Duty or whatever. Um, although, that said, the Terminator bundle that they did for 
Warzone was quite sick. I didn't buy it because I don't buy stuff like that. Um, but I'm a huge Terminator fan, so seeing seeing Arnie in it was pretty cool. Hey, thanks, Benami. Benami has it. Has... Bro, let me start that again. Let me start that again. My uh, my throat is very sore right now from allergies. Thank you, Benami, for the two bucks, dude. Marty's latest tweet is crazy. Love the bitch. Thank you very much, man. What was Marty's latest tweet? Marty. Huh. Huh. Yep. Huh. <laughs> That's a good tweet. All I'll say is, right, people don't realize how bad Microsoft have been for Halo, not just during the 343 era, but during the Bungie era as well. I think a lot of people don't realize that Microsoft fucked with Bungie when they were making Halo a lot as well. Like, uh, I, I don't think Microsoft should... Microsoft should not be make should not be the people in uh, at the top, theoretically, technically at the top of Halo. They just fucking shouldn't be. Um, they don't get it. They don't get it. They've never got it. They didn't get it. They didn't get it during the golden era of, of Halo, and they don't get it now. Welcome, Mannequin. How's it going, dude? Lord, welcome, bro. Oh my god, give us forest, holy fuck. Yeah, that's a thing across the entire industry though, Mix. That's something that's happened across like every... Like, as gaming has become more corporate, obviously that's happened. Um, and that's not a Microsoft exclusive thing. Whether or not Microsoft are, are stricter with their ROIs, I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't know. But um, all I'll say is like... Microsoft fucked with Halo during the Bungie days as well. A lot more than people realize. Considerably more than people realize. Uh, I, think I, I see quite a lot of people thinking like that, that, that Microsoft like intervening, overly intervening and stuff is a thing that has only really happened during the 343 era and that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, uh, to be honest, Landon, I don't know, dude. I, I don't know at all. Um, I think this, this, this game had a lot going against it, let's put it that way. Oh, that was close. Microsoft are weird now, though, because they've, they've made a point. I mean, the whole thing with... The reason that Redfall failed so much was because Microsoft weren't hands-on. So I think in recent years, they've not been hands-on at all, which has also been a problem. Like, there is there is definitely... When it comes to being a publisher, I know it's, like, it's cool to be like, oh, yeah, fuck publishers and all this stuff. But, like, I think when it comes to being a publisher, there's definitely a middle ground between being very hands-on and oh, like, being too hands-on and not being hands-on at all. Um... And I think Microsoft, at least in recent years, seems to have swung the... Dude, I'm getting jump scared so much in this. They seem to have swung too much in the other way. Um, Because, like, the reason that Redfall failed was because, basically, Arkane Austin were forced by Zenimax, like, higher-ups, to make a game that they didn't want to make. Like, the devs making that game, for the most part, didn't want to be making it. They wanted to be making something completely different. Like, some... Boring like live service shooter is not what Arcane specialize in at all. Arcane specialize in like immersive sims and that kind of stuff, and they fucking kill those kind of games. They make like god tier games in that genre, um, like Dishonored, Prey, for example. And then they were forced to make something different because Prey didn't make enough money, and they were forced to make that when apparently none of them really wanted to make it. And it's I mean it's no surprise that game flopped as hard as it did. Yeah, that's the thing, Tavosti. That's that. They were too hands off, and they let Zenimax be too intrusive. I don't know. I don't know. Microsoft are a weird one. 
Yeah, probably, Robbie. They probably are. Like, I don't think there's... It, it, besides, like, Devolver Digital, is there really any publisher that has, like, a really, really good, like, public image? Everyone hates Activision. Everyone hates EA. People are starting to dislike Zenimax. Who else even is there? Ubisoft. People don't like Ubisoft. Pretty much, Marcus, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bandai Namco seemed pretty good. And Capcom also seemed... Capcom, modern Capcom seemed very good as well. Um, they seemed to be pretty well liked. They just put out banger after banger after... Bro, modern Capcom made the RE engine for all the Resident Evil remakes. And then they're just like, fuck it, we'll pour everything we've ever made to the RE engine. Besides Dino Crisis, that's the one damn thing they won't port to... They won't remake in RE engine. Dino Crisis is the one damn thing. Chris, thanks for the five bucks, dude. Um, kind of. I, lo I fucking adore Gears of War. Gears, like, 1, 2, and 3 are some of my favorite games ever. But I've never been, like, super into Gears lore. I'm, like, a very surface-level fan. I just love the fucking badass, like, macho vibes of Gears. The gore, the vibes of Gears is, like, mostly what I what I love about that game. Um, but never, I'll never say never, though. KBM, what the? Yeah, my controller's acting up. I don't know what it is. Controller just felt awful for me, so I've went to KBM. For the first time in, like, forever. Konami. God, yeah. No, Konami can get fucked. I am, like... I've gone from being really excited initially for the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake to being, like... Oh, God. I just... I don't... <laughs> Silence and Save. I just kind of wish they didn't make it. I don't... They've, they've scrubbed Kojima and Yoji Shinkawa off... Like, uh, off it completely. There's no references to them whatsoever. Um... I just... I, it, something about that just doesn't sit right with me at all. Ooh, auto clumber just saved my life. I should not have lived then. Why don't you come with PlayStation games? Um, I don't know. Like, they're, they're good. I'm not... I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of... God of War. I, I, tr I mean, I've not played Ragnarok, but I tried God of War 20... Whatever it was. 2019, was it? The first reboot. And... It was alright. It didn't stick with me like it seemed to for other people. Um, I just... I don't know. It was alright. I didn't think it was anything particularly special, to be quite honest with you. Uh, and then the Sp Insomniac Spider-Man games are, like, excellent. But, uh, like, I'm not... I, like, I'm not a huge, like, superhero guy. I don't really... I'm not really into, like, Marvel or anything like that. Um, my favorite superhero movies are, like, the original Blade movies with Wesley Snipes that had, like, immaculate, gothic, early 2000 vibes to them. Absolutely immaculate. And then, like, uh, Nolan's Batman trilogy as well. And also uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman as well. <laughs> Walmart Overshield. Yeah, everyone says that God of War 2018 is, like, one of the best things ever made from the video game medium. And, like, don't get me wrong, it's not... I don't think it's a bad game by any means, but I just... I feel like I'm missing something with those games. I feel like I'm really missing something, because I just... The combat was, like... Nothing Nothing was bad, but nothing stood out. The combat was all right. Um, the story was, like... All right. Um... World design was all right. It just didn't really do much for me. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just fucking weird. That was hella lucky. Oh, that was not. <laughs> To learning curve of PlayStation games, and it takes two to three hours to adjust to it. Yeah, I mean, I played, I did play quite a lot of um, of God of War twenty, whatever it was, eighteen or nineteen. I played quite a lot of it. I played like probably like ten hours of it. Um, I gave it a good shot. It just, I don't know. The gameplay was. People would rave about how like the gameplay was this insane third person action gameplay. It was like, again, wasn't bad, but I just thought it was like the most middle of the road third person gameplay like it it wasn't it didn't try and reinvent anything it didn't try and like and that's not 
I don't want every game to try and reinvent itself, but it, it didn't do anything particularly special to make me think it's like a step above the rest. Yeah, I can that I agree with Nico. I, I think it was overhyped. Um Again, not to say it was bad, but I just it, I don't know. Then again, I've never been into God of War because the funny enough, besides the PSP, the first PlayStation I ever bought was a PS4. Uh and ironically, I bought that game of that console for Black Ops 4. Yeah. Like, my only exposure to MGS2 when I was young was playing it on a friend's P uh, PS2. Last of Us, uh, I've never played. I, my first, I mean, I, kn I knew the story. I know the story of them, but I've never played them. My first time like, actually experiencing anything firsthand for Last of Us was the show. And I fucking loved it. I thought the show was excellent. Um, but um, I want to play it at some point on PC, but the, the PC port is awful. Uh, yes, I'm doing a season four review. It'll probably be out on Thursday or Friday. Uh, not Jesus. Thursday or Friday. I think it's going to be quite long, so potentially Friday. What's the best third person experience for me? Uh, probably from Soft Games or Metal Gear Solid. Uh, like any Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Elden Ring, Sekiro, Bloodborne, those games. Um, or. Uh, Metal Gear. I'm a huge, 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 huge Metal Gear fan. Or Resident Evil, actually. But that's more fixed. That's fixed camera. At least, traditionally. And I really wish it would go back to fixed camera. I've never tried Monster Hunter now. I've never been that interested in Monster Hunter, to be honest with you. Um, maybe at some point, though. Oh, dude. Morning Rose. I'm so excited for Armor Core. I've never played an Armor Core game in my life. And see, here's the thing, right? I'm at the point now with... From soft that I was up with Halo and Bungie in like the mid 2000s, where it's like you've made so many fucking bangers time after time after time and never let me down. So I'm at the point now with you where I'm like you can fucking make anything and I'll buy it. From soft could make fucking From soft could make a fucking dating sim and I would buy that game and I guarantee I'd love it. From soft could make literally anything and I would buy it at this point. They've got such a good track record and I know that I can trust them to make bangers that I would just. I'd just, but I'd buy it in a second. And I just know that I'd like it. Dude, a FromSoft Halo game is like a pipe dream that will never happen, but I fucking hell, I wish it would. <laughs> Dating some swords. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try Liza P for sure. Um, I like the trailer they showed at the Xbox showcase. I'm definitely going to try it. Hey. The effect when you kill somebody with a sword in this game is very satisfying. Yeah, FromSoft games are definitely in a quiet taste. Not everyone's going to like them because the difficulty is, like, intentionally quite high. But, like, I, so I, I would still recommend uh, Wicked Fox giving FromSoft games a go. Because I, when I first tried to get into Dark Souls, I spent, like, three or four hours in it. And I just, I couldn't get into it. I, I just thought it was obnoxiously difficult. Um, in reality, I, I was just garbage at them. I just hadn't learned how to play the games yet. But I, I, and I gave up. And then, like, a few years later, I came back and tried it again. And I was like, oh, shit. These might be some of my favorite games ever. It just clicked. Similar to Tarkov, in a way. Like, as soon as Tarkov clicked, I was like, right, this game is going to hook me for a long time. And then I was, I was the same with FromSoft. I think a lot of people have their experience with FromSoft games. A lot of people that I speak to have the exact same thing where it's like, oh, I... Played them for a little bit when I first tried to get into them. Got fucking destroyed. Thought it was too hard. Thought the game was shit because it was balanced badly and then left them. And then like a year or two, tried it again and it clicked. And that was it. <laughs> I've still not played it, Outlaw. I've still not played it. Right, chat. Give me two minutes. I'm going to go get a drink. So I am, my throat is killing me and I'm out of water. The Sprint water bottle. It's empty, as you can see. Um, I'll be back in like two minutes, chat. I'm gonna get some water. Uh, BRB. Fat, let me get to the menu first. What do you think of DZ? I will answer that when I get back, uh, Kai. I have more hours than I'm willing to admit in DZ. 
Oh boy. Oh, they're the emblems that we get. Wow, dude. Sick. That's worth it. Let's go, dude. Right, behind me. <laughs> Back in a minute. I return, dual wielding water bottles. Right, you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna go into um, training mood. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> uh, training mode. On. There it is. Training mode. Training mode. Do you wish Infinite had the Cyclops or the Mantis? Uh, uh I'm not really that bothered personally. Um, oh, this, holy fuck, this is nice. Okay. Okay, this is, yeah. Okay, I fuck with this. This is very, very, very nice. Holy shit. Yeah, this is very clearly like Delta Hero inspired. Ooh, yeah. S7. Sniper available. <laughs> okay, this is this is fucking nice, dude. Ah, oh, this should have been. Is that the secret text from Sand Trap? I think it is. We are looking round forest, mendicant. This map is fucking gorgeous. I would do a great many things. To get a campaign set in this environment. Holy shit. <clears throat> what the? 
This is nice. <laughs> Watch the Halo TV show again. I will not subject myself to that. How high can you go? Okay, not that high. This reminds me of that one Black Ops screen up a little bit. You guys know what I mean? The it's called, was it called like Redwood or something? Are you going to watch season two of the show? Uh, I will probably watch like two episodes for a video. And then unless it pulls some like miraculous, ridiculous U-turn, uh, stop watching it because I'm not interested in that garbage. This is very, very nice. God, I wish we got areas like this in a campaign, dude. Holy shit. This is really, really nice looking. Bless me. Bless me. Ooh, it's a little cave. <laughs> God damn. All I just hit me like a truck. Yeah, this is a... Uh, thank you, Ian. This is pretty, pretty damn nice, I gotta say. <laughs> Big fan. Okay, uh, let's Sniper. let's play some BTB and try and get the new map. <sighs> Thank you for the blessings, chat. <laughs> Appreciate you. Right, let's play BTB. Is it just the one BTB playlist? Is it like a okay? Yeah, just the one. Just the one BTB playlist, actually. <laughs> that kind of environment and campaign would have been so nice. <clears throat> I really, really, really wish they would have made a campaign with that kind of biome. Alright, Spot, I'm stopping by, dude. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Fucking hell, my voice is going. <clears throat> oh, BTB Heavy is in the regular playlist, okay. Oh, yeah. How much you want to bet we don't get the new map? Chat, what map are we thinking? Is it going to be the new one? I would hazard a guess that it won't be. There is a way, I know for a fact there's a way to see what map you're playing. Breaker, oh, Breaker, oh, God. Oh, God. Do we have to? Can I just get the new map? They should just wait the new map. <laughs> like, wait it a lot higher. I do not want to play Breaker. I might give it two or three games. And if we don't get the new map in two or three games, I will just quit until we get it. If the game ever fucking loads. <laughs> you know what, Robbie? I was actually thinking at the end of the day, it kind of does a little bit. Well, it is like Breaker. I don't know. Just never really liked it. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it kind of reminds me of like a Halo 4 BTV map, which is not my kind of thing. Are chest attachments still great? That is a good question. I would hazard a guess that they are. Uh, 
Uh, which ones? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. George's collar is still grey, so I'd assume they all are. Look at the Mark Seven ones. Uh, hello, game. Hey, the wonderful it has crashed. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, well, it also crashed NVIDIA share, whatever that is. <laughs> well, okay, first crash, I guess. <laughs> That's true, Matt. I did avoid breaking with that. You're right. <clears throat> oh, you know what? That crash was actually uh, a good thing. Thank you very much, Hidden for that. Appreciate you. <laughs> you know, I knew earlier, but before the stream when I booted the game up, um, I just flicked through the customization menu. Uh, granted, this is before the update came out, before I installed it, but I flicked through the customization menu. It was still lagging, like it did last. Remember the last? Uh, I keep I keep wanting to say the last wipe, the last update, where it kept lagging and then it would just crash. It was still doing that, and I thought they fixed it, but I guess not. <laughs> right. Do I dare try again, looking at customization? Oh, I can already, I can already feel it lagging. Yeah, okay, the chest pieces are still grey. Are any of these season four? No, oh, that is. Oh, it's the is it a flagon. Yes, flagon. <laughs> Need to buy the stabilization patch from the shop for twenty bucks when it rolls around. <laughs> ah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, don't crash. Please don't crash. Thank you. Oh, we got a game. What's it going to be, chap? We are playing. Oh, shit. How do we check? Oh, how do we check? High power. <laughs> God damn it. Still didn't get uh <clears throat> what's the map called Scar. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have Ray Dress internal. I mean <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, when the I think it was AMD released that video that showcased infinite ray tracing. Granted it wasn't full ray tracing, but that video was hilarious because literally nothing changed. <laughs> like shadows are a slight bit more like crisp and that's it. I would in. I definitely would. I think like playable brutes or like play playable hunters would be sick. Oh right, okay. Right, let's speed win this game. There's no music. Earn the most kills to win. Oh wait, it's DMR stars. Okay, interesting. I guess it's a good thing I'm playing keyboard and mouse then. Let's go. The Mark 7 chest chests are colored, are they? Okay. Maybe it was my coating then. Imagine if I did it to him. Imagine if I did it to him. Definitely not landing. Not at all anymore.
It's days of being uh, Xbox's flagship are long, long over. They are long gone. But it feels really weird playing keyboard and mouse again. Infection is one thing, but actual like shooting PvP is a whole other thing. To be honest, I don't think Xbox really has one flagship anymore. I think what its flagship is will change based on what's coming out. I do think that whatever Bethesda release, that, that will always be the flagship. I think if they get Activision as well, whatever they release probably will be. I mean, if they get Activision, if they do get that and the deal goes through, then COD is going to be an Xbox flagship for sure. I mean, that goes without saying, right? That's kind of a, a given. That's one of the main reasons they're probably trying to get them. Because that live service is probably like an infinite money printer. What the? Wait, you think... The guy in the turret didn't die, bruh. Yeah, the FTC are trying to block it, and also we're, we're trying to block it as well. I'm so, you know, that deal, right? What do you guys think about that deal in chat, the Microsoft buying Activision? Because I'm really tall on it. On the one hand, I kind of want to see it go through. But on the other hand, I think it's such an obvious monopoly. Or maybe not a monopoly, but like, I just think it would, I think Microsoft would own, if they own Bethesda and Activision, I think that's just, that's too much. It would be wild if it goes through seeing all the cards in Game Pass. Yeah, I agree with that, um, Armel. I agree. I mean, the hope would be the second it goes through, they just kick Bobby Kotick out straight away. Um, that would be the hope. In fact, that was part of the deal, wasn't it? I think part of the deal was he, he stepped down, but then in typical corporate fashion, he'll step down and he'll get like a massive paycheck for doing it. Yeah, see, that's the thing. He'll get kicked out and he'll get kicked out with a massive severance pay and on all the money that he's earned over the years whilst doing God knows how much shady shit. You know what? The DMR does feel good and keep on a mouse. I will give them that. This does feel good and keep on a mouse. Shall I watch this? Celebration. Yeah, this thing does feel very, very good on keyboard and mouse. There are still a billion weapons I think they should have added before the DMR, but it does feel good. Thing is, no pardon, I don't know if they will do. How many other massive corporations are there that are, uh, that are out, out there that are willing to drop like $69 billion on or something? Or even have that liquid to even consider dropping? Jake, bro, how's it going? <laughs> Dude, if you play this Tarkov wipe, we need to play if, you, if you're playing. Yeah, it's pretty wild. This is the only weapon they've added in 19 months. Hell yeah. Let's, uh, let's play some at some point soon. Yeah, I want to try that new event. I've not had a chance to play much for, like, a couple weeks. Um, I did get Lightkeeper recently, though. And I've been I've just been doing, like, Lightkeeper loop runs. Making, like, silly rubelage. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, Jake, I'll, um... I'll speak to you later, after the stream. Okay, you know what? This DMR feels very, very, very nice. On keyboard and mouse. Chani, it's nice, no bad. Okay, thank you. Spike. Obtain. 
Are there any free spare extraction shooters? Um, I actually don't know. Okay, sweet. Is it, Jake? Is it pre-wiped? Like, do we know if it's pre-wiped right now, or is it just like some random event again, like the boss one a few weeks ago? I would hope that if they bought, if if Microsoft bought Activision, um, then like the old cards would actually become safe to play. But I don't know. I would hope that they would step in and fix that. They need to. They need to step in and fix that, because uh, especially with them shutting down shit like IW4X and SM2, like you can get fucked doing that. Pathetic. All right, Marcus. Appreciate it. Should be out um, Thursday or Friday, I'd say. Have a good one, bro. Favorite, favorite spawn from Reach. Always a meal. Always a meal. What the hell is that sound? Oh, oh, I forgot how cool that looks. Occasionally, Marcus. Very hit and miss. To be fair, Potassium Man, I don't really stream Infinite ever. Uh, I only stream this game when a new season comes out, and we've only had like four seasons since the game first came out, so... <laughs> don't blame me, bro. Yeah, I enjoyed that Apex stream. That was fun. Like, it was fun to stream and everything, but I genuinely had fun. And, uh... <laughs> I'm not paid to say that right now, so I'd... <laughs> That's not a hashtag ad thing. I did genuinely enjoy it. Oh, yeah, that was quite close. Air vehicle delivery. Here for me to world star someone, chap. Perfect. I didn't mean to zoom in there. If you want to watch the Apex stream, it is a uh, a VOD on my channel. You know what? Keyboard and mouse is really good in this game now. I'm actually quite amazed at how much they've improved it. Right, I've not flown a wasp in... Oh, well. I guess I wouldn't fly one for a long time either. I was going to say I've not flown one in about a year. Uh... Okay, come on. Give us Scar, please. What level are we? Did we rank up? Corporal Raid 2. I don't like this prestige system thing. I wish they hadn't done that. Right, come on. Give us Scar. Give us Scar. Uh, I'm drinking, Master Chief. This is pure vodka. In fact, wait. No, this is moonshine. This, this is vodka. Was vodka. And this is moonshine. Pure, unfiltered moonshine. I would like to see Microsoft not have Halo, personally. Um, I, I just don't think that Halo is ever going to have a great future as long as it's in the Microsoft. He'll be shining. <laughs> That's fucking joke. I'm going to start using that from now on. <laughs> Uncle's potato moonshine made me blind from God. I've tried Albanian moonshine and it was fucking awful. What do we get? What do we get? It's not told us yet. It's not told us yet. 
Yeah, I've had Albanian moonshine. I've never had American moonshine, but I've had Albanian moonshine, and it was rancid. It was served in a plastic bottle just like this, a plastic water bottle. P34, welcome, dude. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate you. Thanks a lot, man. Putting a lot of work behind the scenes on my videos, so I, I genuinely appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, in Belgium, just kind of went around certain places. Went to, uh, went to Ghent, went to Bruges, and went to Antwerp. Um, it just kind of did like semi-touristy things. Drank a lot of beer. Uh, it was really good. It was really, really good. Um, I wish we stayed for longer. The food there was so fucking good. Peach margarita, good taste. Good taste, my friend. I had a cocktail for the first time a few weeks ago called a ranch water, which was so nice. I can't remember what was in it. It was just so nice. So in tequila you based. <laughs> Master Chief, imagine that. Yeah, I think I do I do look a bit like him, right? I've heard uh he's actually restarting that barbecue channel soon. Wait, Jake, is that the leaking classified secrets on the War Thunder forums controversy? If so, yes. I fucking love that. It's like War Thunder and World of Tanks, right? Keep getting people leaking, like, classified shit on the forums. It's like the devs had, like, a plane or, like, a tank or something, and they'll, and they'll get something very specific wrong that no one should know about, and some guy will go to the forums and be like, well, actually, because of this uh, classified military document from four years ago, that's actually wrong. Oh, fucking breaker, man. Bruh, can we not have breaker? Where that guy end up, I don't know. You might see Flipper Flavor back in a few weeks. Potentially. There may be Flipper Flavor content recorded recently. Just a thought. Maybe. Perhaps. Uh, the new Alien game. Yeah, I watched... Um, was it? I think it was Mandalore's video. I watched a bit of Mandalore's video and it looked really good. Oh, how long is this game going to take? What? Oh, wait. Hang on. Is this heavies? Nope. People weren't kidding. It's literally BR... Someone said earlier it's BR Rocket Star. So I was like, hang on. Hang on. Um, But they weren't kidding. This must be heavies though, right? There's a shade turret there. There's not normally a shade turret there. Uh, Steam charts won't be updating straight away. Um... The Steam charts don't update, like, live. They'll update, like, every couple hours. They update, I think, maybe, like, every four to six hours. So, um, same with, like, Xbox most played charts. They, they, that takes, like, a few days to update. Yeah, this is definitely heavies. Gotta be heavies, right? Capturing. Hey, what is that? Oh, shot screen. Okay. That'll do. No. No. Oh. Oh, the tank gun is. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. I've not played. Infinite at all since they added um, heavies. Where did the tank get spawn? I think he's got it. I know they're rockets. Spanker, grab hammer. Wasn't it around here somewhere? I watched one of Remy's air it is. Wow. Can't even crash a bit nice. Power items. Bang on, man. Are How many shots do you get in this thing? Just like two or three or something. Your power items are ready for pickup. Big boy coming through. Lost. Oh 
Okay, he ate the tank shop somehow. Oh, eight. That's a lot. Total control for the enemy. You've got new zones incoming. Okay, you know what? I don't really care if we lose. I just care about getting. Oh my god, I forgot the plasma turret was even in this game. Yeah, I'm <laughs> no shot. <laughs> we got them both. Hell yeah. I am a master keyboard. Uh, controller felt really buggy for me, so I switched over. Keyboard master is pretty good. Oh, I miss Joe Staten, dude. I miss Joe Staten. Welcome, Sebirai. I miss Joe Staten, bruh. Oh, legacy here, that's fine. Oh, that's gonna hit us. Oh, no. Is he working on a new game? Yeah, Joe works for Netflix now. He's um he's working on like one of Netflix's first games. He's like the the head of the entire thing. Uh I will be supporting the ever living fuck out of that game. It's gonna be it's not gonna be out for a long time, but when it is, you can um you can expect videos about it on my channel. For sure. I will always support any of those like OG Bungie More. guys. I will always support their ship. Always. See, that's the thing I always struggle with the keyboard and mouse. Finishing off kills. To his side, guys. <laughs> what the? Oh my god, these games gone for so long, bro. I want to play Scar. I have played Remastered Dead Space. Deathman, welcome, dude. How's it going? Update so far is it's, it's decent. Yeah, I felt bad about this integration, uh, Vibrid. Um, I, I love Marcus. I felt. Oh, hello. That'll do. I love Marcus. I felt. I felt bad about that. Halo Combat the Revolution. I really, really, really wish they'd handed him a blank check to come back to Halo. Marcus is down to come back to Halo as well. They should have given him a blank check. And been like, right, name your price. Come back. Direct Halo. Imagine if we had Paul Batone, Marcus Leto, and Joe Staten working on Halo again at the same time. Holy fucking shit. We, bros, we would have been so fucking back. It's not even funny. No! Overkill. Your attack. Oh, fuck. And Marty, yeah. And Michael as well, but I think Michael's probably making insane money from Bungie. Captured a zone. Luke's eternal battle against it being so over. <laughs> really like keyboard and mouse in this game now. 
we would have been eating so unbelievably good. This guy is talking very loud in game chat. Hoping just a phase to make as much as they can and then give up and start right again. Yeah, we can hope. We can hope. Almost. <laughs> you had esports on the mind. <laughs> Oh, I thought I'd direct impact him. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could get the new map. I think I'll give it one more game, then we're just gonna go into training mode. They really don't wait new maps enough, I don't think. They need to start waiting them heavier. Thoughts infection. Yeah, infection is fun. It's not that different to regular infection, which is good. It didn't need to be. Um, it's fun. Oh, I went straight into the beam. Welcome, Sam. Yeah, Halo will never... Regardless of what anyone wants to say, Halo will never genuinely die like halo has been too big and too impactful of a game in a series to ever die um it, it like it just won't regardless of what anyone tries to argue halo will never die but <laughs> ironically like I, i'm not even saying this to be like lol halo reference but like it i i could see at some point if things get even worse it getting like show for a while like, I think, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I'm saying, like, it wouldn't surprise me if it just went dormant for, like, five or six years. Ready for this. That was a back smack. I hit him in the face. Oh, my God. I hit that guy in the face. How was that a back smack? <laughs> Welcome, Gizella. Good to see you, man. I hope so, dude. Uh, Landon, that, um, the layoffs were less about the Activision deal and more about just the general state of the economy. Um, and the Activision deal definitely would have had, like, some influence on it, but... Uh, it's not just Microsoft laying people off. Like the the economy's in the shitter right now, and I mean I don't I don't think there's going to be a not to go all fucking economists or anything, but I don't, I don't think there's going to be a recession personally, um, and a lot of analysts don't either. But there are still some analysts that do think there's going to be a recession, and if Microsoft analysts are saying like yeah there's a high chance there's still a recession, then they're going to be planning for it, which is what they were doing with the layoffs. What's the new seeker like? Oh god, yeah, I forgot about that thing. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot that thing even existed. We'll try it out after this. After the, let's just after this, we'll go into trading mode and we'll uh, we'll have a look at the new BTB map. Oh no! Thank you, Kai. We should have Why has no one captured that zone? God damn it, team. Oh my god, I hit that dude in the face. Recession is basically when an economy shrinks. Pretty much.
So like economy shrinks, people like inflation goes up, people earn, people earn less money, corporations make less money, so they start cutting shit. There's a guy in that corner. Oh, there he is. Push team. So, imminent. It's kind of wild when everyone's spawning with rockets. Kind of like it. <laughs> Doing an esports course. Holy shit, that's cool. It has to be for like a sustained amount of um, time on the seaside. I think it's two quarters. So, like. If you have one quarter where the economy shrinks, but then the one after it grows, like, even slightly, then you're not in a recession. I forgot what the time period is for, like, for it to officially be a recession. Thing is, though, like, when, when it comes to Microsoft, they don't really care about it, whether it's officially a recession or not. They care about, right, our profit shrinking, our, like, consumer spending is changing, um... How's our like income stream looking? Do we need to change anything? Like they don't work on like binary terms. Like, is it a recession? Yes, then fire people. Is it a recession? No, then like hire people. Like, it, it's not as like cut and dry as that. Yeah, Andrew. The, whenever anyone mentions the idea of Halo needing a reboot, I fucking cringe every time. I, the absolute last thing Halo needs is a reboot. I'd that I. I'm not gonna lie. If Halo actually did get a reboot, like they just they just threw everything out and start like all the lore and they started again, I would just I clock out. I I wouldn't be interested to be quite honest with you. Thing is, though, Crimson. Unfortunately, even though that's true, unfortunately, that's not the way they operate. They they don't look at things historically. They look at things on like quarter by quarter bases and if like if they have like record income for like two years and then they have like four quarters when they're down revenue they're gonna start planning around that oh my god that was a uh, very close they have no idea that i'm here Triple kill. We're now in overtime. Make it count, Spartan. My god, 41 kills. I'm slaying like fuck. Holy shit. An ally has captured a zone. Maybe Breaker isn't that bad after all. Yeah, I remember that cooler. I don't know what ever came of that though. I remember that too. Power items have shipped. Your enemy is nearing total control. Your power items are ready for the No way he ate that. Oh. Hit him with a sniper rocket. <laughs> New beat from that reminds me of Halo 4 Spartan Ops. Interesting. Okay, yeah, we're gonna check it out after this. Oh my god, that boy's flying. Dude, keyboard and mouse was really nice in this game. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a lot of rockets, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Imagine if you 4 3 using the flood as a dead man's hand. You shut us down, we'll release the flood. Wow, 
great infection. Uh, I mean, it's infection. It's it's good. It's like eight out nine out of ten, I guess. I mean, it's, it's just infection. It's nothing's really radically changed. Um, pretty much the same as the infection that you know and probably love. Right then, let's go into training mode. Did we rank up? I would assume so. So BTB is just going to be insane for getting XP then. I take it. Right then, let's try this new... Um, let's try this new map out. Where is it? Scar. In fact, what's the... Uh, can I read it? Can you not read it? It's like description. Maybe if I go into custom games. Right then, let's have a look at the lore descriptions first of both of them. But how do you... God, I hate this UI. This UI is so fucking bad. <laughs> Dead secrets lie beneath the bridge. Okay. Uh, China. You know what, right, it's going to sound wild, but I kind of like how the, the map descriptions in this game are just one-liners like they were in Halo 1. Halo 1, like, every, after Halo 1, all the, all the Halo games had, like, quite long descriptions of maps. Whereas Halo 1 was just, like, just, that for a chill out, it was, like, chill out description was, like, dude, you really need to. Like, it's just, like, little one-liners, and I kind of like that. Uh, I am Roy. I'm not in yet, that I know of, but I am, I'm just boxing anyway to kind of get myself ready for it, if I do get in. Training mode. Okay, the lighting in this map is really fucking nice. The color palette's quite cool as well. Oh, damn. Okay, let me, uh, real quick. Grapple shot on, infinite ammo on. Cool. Okay, this map's fucking cool. Like, aesthetically speaking, at least, it is. Goddamn. Okay. Dude, those fucking things are cool. They look fucking cool. Holy shit. Come on, tell me I can... Oh, you can't stand up there. Bruh. What is that? It's a banished monorail or something. That looks fucking cool. I like that. And I'm guessing these are... I'd assume these are drills. Like, it looks like these are, like, terraforming platforms. Mustafar X Doom 2016 did, literally. Yeah, this looks cool. Uh, how many bots are there? Wait, can you not put more than... Oh, that's kind of lame. Diminisher of wait, Diminisher of Hope is Eshram's hammer, isn't it? That's on here. Okay. Oh damn. Okay. I think that's the first map this is on. There's a lot of beeping going on. Calculating a project. Ooh. Wait, is that? Hang on, is that? Is that what I think it is? Oh shit, that's really cool. That's cool. I like that. That's a cool little like gimmick where it's like, oh, you you fall into the bottomless pit, 
Oh, hello. It's like, oh no, I've fallen into the bottomless pit of lava. Oh, no. I'm in a teleporter. That's cool. I like that. Uh, does this actually do anything? Like, does it fire a beam or something? So I'm guessing this is a drill or something like that. That looks a bit like a drill to me. The quantum, uh, to be honest, I don't really know what I think about the quantum thing. Mix. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what to think about it. Altitude increasing. I genuinely don't know if I like it or dislike it or think it's like broken or underpowered. I, I honestly don't know. I don't think I'm like... I don't think I know enough about this game's skill gap to judge whether it's like good or bad to be honest with you. Yeah, this looks cool. I like this map a lot. I mean, <laughs> it is just a lava map, but it's very Mustafari. Test the CK. Yes, you're right. We need to test it out. Um, oh, God, I can feel the UI lagging. That's never a good sign. Uh, threat Seeker, right? Yeah, it's that one. It look, I mean, it looks cool. Threat Seeker looks cool. It's like a banished, like... I don't know. Thing. It looks cool. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to test it out on this map. I mean, I don't think this map really looks similar to many others in the game so far. What we absolutely don't need more of are UNSC training or UNSC facilities. Grey UNSC facilities. This game is starting to get as bad as we reach for that. Um... That's why I'm not happy that that plaza remake looks the way that it does. Then again, I don't really care about the plaza remake, to be honest with you, it's a Halo 5 map, but... So, Threat Senator does that. Right, okay. I mean, they're pretty minor differences, to be honest with you. One pings a location for, like, a certain amount of time. The other one is, like, an instant line of sight. Bouncy ping. What the? What the? There's a big gap in the floor there. That's pretty straight through. I mean, this map's pretty as fuck. Rate the new match by visuals and aesthetic. Uh, forest, I'm going to be honest. Forest is like a solid fucking 9.5. Um, if not higher than that. Forest looks good as fuck. This is probably a 9. I'd say. They look really cool. Is it like a banished minecart system or something? So that has to hit something then. That has to hit something before it explodes. Yes, it does. That's a big radius. Yeah, this map looks very, 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 very cool. Uh, let's, you know what? My biggest issue so far with maps in BTB and Infinite is that they're so narrow and very, like, dude, imagine having a scorpion in this area, right? A scorpion just wouldn't fit here. I want to have a drive around and see if the map is still, like, very narrow and leany. So I'm going to be honest, it's still, it looks really nice, but it still just looks like an infantry BTB map. Like, we don't really have anything like containment or... Blood Gulch, or Valhalla, or Sand Trap, or... Well, uh, I can't really think of any others right now. Spire, I guess, to a degree. Um, that have, like, very large open areas of vehicles. Like, this is fine as an infantry BTB map, but, like, it's just, l like, very laney again. You know what I mean? Waterworks, yeah. Waterworks. Um, very laney. 
Whoa, Jesus Christ, I forgot. Almost got Ghost of Scarred then. I forgot there were AI on the map. You know what I mean? Like, this, this still does feel quite tight for vehicles. For, like, infantry, it's fine. But vehicles, it just, like, it, that felt kind of tight for a Warthog. Imagine trying to get a Scorpion through here. In fact, I'm going to prove my point. That's exactly what I'm doing, Andrew. That is exactly the plan. If the summer solstice is tonight, Ghost of Lockout might be out about. Wait. Nah, it isn't summer solstice tomorrow night, June 21st. I'm pretty sure. The issue is, Joe, so far, like, none of the infinite BT have been, been made for vehicles. Oasis was the best one so far for that. And even then, that still, like, you think of a scorpion and that, it's still very tight. Right, I cannot remember for the life of me what the controls are. Uh, open forward menu is R. Okay, that's actually a lot better than I thought it was. Uh, gameplay vehicles. Right, we're going to drop a wraith. And we're going to drop a scorpion. Right. Okay. Uh, where's the gameplay option? F6. Right. So, oh Christ. They're loud. So, right. Is this map... Wide enough for a scorpion? It's not awful. I mean, they, they, it's not like they didn't fit. It's not like the scorpion doesn't fit, but it's like... You see what I mean? It's really, really tight. There's like no open space for it at all. Like, you would get boarded instantly in this thing, on this map. It's very... yeah, it's very narrow. And this is what I was really hoping they'd, they'd stop doing with the BTP maps, because I, I don't hate the BTP maps in this game. I think I actually think the BTP maps in this game so far are probably the best ones people have ever made. But they're all very, very tight and laney. Even high power is. Yeah, like all the all the weapon drops, but like more importantly, all these ledges that you just like you're boxed into. Can I even fit it through here? It's a dead end, I think. Yeah, see, it's, they can't even fit it up there. These maps need more areas where there's just nothing. Just, like, open space for vehicles for vehicles to, like, have a little bit of room to breathe in. Especially heavy ones, like the Scorpion and the Wraith. Let me go try the Wraith out, because I think the Wraith is a little bit wider than the Scorpion. I think. Oh, dude, a Banished Spell. Oh, I would... I would do many, many things for a Banished Spectre, let me tell you. I would do a great many things for a Banished Spectre. Problem is, the tank is always stuck to the one part that people have made for that. Right, exactly, exactly. Like, these lanes, you can very see, you can, you can very obviously tell they were crafted purely with the, the Wraith and the Scorpion in mind to be just big enough for them. Like, they're j all these lanes are just wide enough for a scorpion to turn around in. Like, th there's no area in this map where the scorpion is, like, free to turn around properly and have, like, a bit of roaming space. Where did I put the wraith down? Is it here? Where's that fucking wraith? 
banished spectre would go so hard. In fact, wasn't there a banished spectre in Halo Wars 2? I feel like there was a banished spectre in Halo Wars 2. And it looked cool as fuck. Not as cool as the Halo 2 one, but no... <laughs> no vehicle will ever look as cool as the Halo 2 spectre. Ever. No, not the Marauder. There was, there was a... I swear one of the leaders, might have been Arbiter, had a spectre. There it is. Wait, what? Hang on. I swear there was just a wraith there. Few, I can, as a forger trying to get maps into matchmaking, I can tell you right now that Few Four Three thinks open space is a bad map design because it's bad for. Oh, that's so lame. That is so lame. That sucks. Right. Uh, F6. Oh, the... Okay, the Wraith was there. Never mind. Jesus Christ, that loud. <laughs> My God. Right, let's try the Wraith. Okay, the Wraith is obviously more... My God, the Wraith feels really nippy in this game. It feels really maneuverable. On keyboard and mouse, at least. Okay, it feels... It feels better for the Wraith, actually, than the Scorpion. The Wraith is... I think the Wraith might be thinner than the Scorpion. I think I was wrong. Okay, I can't fit through there. Uh, the Wraith feels a bit better on this. But still, like... Still very narrow. Hey, Roblox, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. It's still very narrow. This map looks good as fuck, but it's very clearly just another infantry map. Yeah, same, Andrew. You know what? Ever since the f um, like the first time I played B2B in this game, I was like, hang on. Why is the Wraith Mortar so small? It should be like twice the size of that. It's really weirdly small in this game. But Forest. Forest is unbelievably nice. Yes, it's, it's still very clunky. I will definitely mention that in my uh, Season 4 review. For sure. Oh, God. Hey, monkey, welcome, dude. Not bad, bro. How you doing? Good to see you here. Well, that's... Uh, that's that. Uh, it's more like a Revenant Mortar. Yeah, that's what I always thought. Right, chat. One more game. What should we do? Should we, uh... Try one more... Let's do one more infection game. Uh, custom maps were designed with massive spaces for vehicles and players just instinctively knew not to go there. I, yeah. I, yeah, I agree. Bye, Buck. I agree entirely, dude. I agree. Monkey, thanks for the five pounds, dude. Appreciate it. So do one more infection game and then I'm going to call it. It's getting quite late. Is there a vehicle colour changing for Forge yet? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we'll take so far. Um, I mean, the other is, the content here is, like, good for the most part. Um, infection is good, but it's, like, just, it's infection. It's not, they've not redesigned the wheel, not that they needed to. Um, it's good. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the timer with the last man standing. I don't like how it's a fixed 30 second timer, but other than that, it's, like, fine. Uh, the new maps look really damn good, and Forest plays really well. Um, Scar is just another infantry BTB map. Like heavy vehicles just don't have any room to move to maneuver on it. Um, what else? Progression system doesn't have any unlocks, which is an immediate massive L for me. Um, but it works, I guess. It works. Oh, we didn't get Forest. We should look at that. Yeah, I think it is, Andrew. I, I I think it is, unfortunately. I wish it weren't, but Round one. If you see something, shoot something. <laughs> that one hit kill, but some of the ones earlier didn't. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Ooh. 
Did not know that was there. We've got camo and OS. Tips on Halo 2 Lasso. Um, prepare for your sanity to go out the window. That's my tip. I whiffed. Oh, they're not they're not in the OP spot. Any one of them is. Why is it good in your hands? Oh, in the intro. Uh, yeah, I don't know. For some reason it does that with a commando. I'm not sure why. Maximum fire team capacity one. Is they're confident. I feel like we just shouldn't have to say that kind of stuff, you know. I don't think that's why there's no reward. There's no reward in the progression system because they want to put it all in the store. That's that's the, the honest answer as to why there's no. Um, as to why there's no rewards in it. To be honest with you, that's the honest answer. How is the bot winning? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> the bot actually is winning. What the fuck? Monkey, thanks for two pounds, dude. Me and my mate took a day doing... Oh, God. It took you a day to you just grave mine. I've never, like... Besides that video that I did last year for the challenge that Charlie hosted, I've never um, even tried Lasso and Halo 2. Nor will I, to be honest with you. Oh, no! Oh, God damn it. Yeah, Infection does feel quite fast-paced in this game. I think that's because the move speed of the Infected. You are very fast in this game as an Infected. Like that, look at the, Jesus Christ, man. People don't seem to realize that you can get hit from the. He doesn't realize he's getting hit. He didn't realize I hit him twice. Pretty much, Andrew, yeah. Wait, does he actually kill her? Like? I've never played Red Guard before. Um, I really want to play Morrowind at some point. I, I keep meaning to play Morrowind. I will play Morrowind at some point. In fact, you know what? Nah. Wow, that was lucky. Holy shit. I looked at my radar at the perfect time. There's one over there. I saw one on the stairs. Jack, is there an option in, the, in custom settings? I'm almost certain they said they're going to add an option, in, although there is an option in custom settings to disable the Irathus stuff. I think you can do. Or maybe that was just my hopium. Who knows? I don't think being the infected in, in this is too underpowered either. It doesn't feel too like the balancing feels pretty good, I think. Only main issue I've got with this is the pacing. It does feel very, very fast paced. Where is he? Bro, am I blind? Where's the... Oh, is it... oh, there he is. There is a... Yeah, there is a lot of talking in Wookiee. I still wish I could just turn the AI voice off and just have Jeff Stiter, sir. Yeah, he did spawn. He's not in the... He's not in the suits of armor. He's in the war game simulations. So, like, it's... There's, there's a difference. Um, it's not like he's infected the suits of armor. He's infected the simulator.
Why would you ever want a skewer in this? I said that earlier, but like, it's just suicide having a skewer in infection. Not see that shroud screen there. Oh, is that a heat wave? Oh, they just see me. No, it's a uh, cinder shot. The backdraft cinder shot. Oh, we traded it. Wait, I got <laughs> that was technically a betrayal because he, I, I was on the infected when I killed him. That's quite cool. That's the meta spot right now. Easy. Easy! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I hate the new guy. <laughs> These Jeff Stein slides are pretty good. I like that. That's really good. That's really good. I'll make sure to include that in the video. I did not know that that was a voice line. Oh, we got the fucking cool helmet. I like that a lot. The Mark 6 CBRN. Uh, well, I'm afraid, wise dude, it's not going to drop because there is no live service narrative for this season. Um, so, I, unfortunately, I can't make a video because there's nothing to make a video about. Right then. Thank you, my friends, for stopping by the stream. Um... I'm going to call it there, uh, because it's quite late in the UK, and I want to go to bed so I can record this video tomorrow. Um, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Season 4 review coming out Thursday or Friday, one of the two. It uh, depends how long it ends up being and how long it takes me to edit it. Uh, and also, next week is the beginning of Marathon Law. I'm like 7,500 words into my Marathon Law script. It's going to be a fucking good one, let me tell you. It's going to be a good one. Um, we're diving into some real OG bungee law with that, and I'm, I'm hyped. Very hyped. Marathon is fucking sick. So, thank you all for stopping by once again. Uh, I appreciate it. I uh, hope you all have a good night, good day. Enjoy season four if you're playing. And uh, yeah, I will see you on Thursday or Friday. And then next week for Marathon Law. Have a good one, guys.